Okay, everyone, here we go. The actual Ludicolo stream. I'm going to be re-ranking this thing today. Last time, it had bad results. 2 hours, 55 minutes, and 32 seconds with 31 resets at level 74 with a game time of 9 hours and 18 minutes. I'm hoping that in my second uh, attempt and further tier list, it's going to get ranked a little bit higher. If it gets under an hour and 50 minutes, which is what most of you are thinking, it's going to today go into the E tier alongside Claydol and Roselia. I have a feeling that tier is going to be maybe a little bit more packed than we might like. Okay, so let's jump right into this one. I'm going to be doing Ludicolo. Obviously base stats, 80 HP, 70 attack, defense, and speed, 90 special attack, and 100 special defense. I'm going to be running a quiet nature today to boost my special attack and lower my speed. I don't think that Ludicolo needs the speed in any major fight. It needs to overlevel for Watson, which I'll talk about later, and then it will have enough speed to outspeed all of Drake's Pokemon, and he, he's the fastest trainer in the, in the league. Um, yeah, Ludicolo's moveset, move pool. Uh, I should call it a move pool. It's not very good. Uh, I have, I'm have i showing a bunch of tutor moves right now, but if I take the tutor moves away, <laughs> then things start looking a lot worse. While it does have good type diversity among the moves it learns, it only starts with four moves, learns nothing else because this thing is a stone evolution. So we are going to be stuck with Astonish, Growl, Absorb, and Nature Power for quite some time. Bullet Seed can be obtained early on, but... It's not really good in Generation 3. It only has base 10 power instead of 25. And beyond that, our next good moves are going to be Ice Beam after the 5th gym or Hidden Power after the 3rd gym. Yeah, uh, it's not not a, it's not great. Anyways, let's get into it. Uh, going to play the game with this cute but trolly duck. Yeah, we also get secret power. Surf is after 5th gym, not after 4th. Unfortunately. You have to defeat... Um, you have to defeat Norman to get Surf. Ice Punch uh, and those the tutor moves, they're only obtainable after Wallace, and you need uh, BP to get them. So I'm not going to be getting them today because it'll take too long. And it's kind of outside of the scope of a solo challenge to do that sort of thing. Like, it's going to take so long anyways. Is it a platypus? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know what this thing is. It's kind of cute, but it's also kind of weird. I don't like playing against it, but I, I do like its design. Or I, I have grown to like its design, I should say. Both it and Shift Tree over time have... Uh, It's getting the name Troll. I don't... That's what we're going with. I just did a stream. We just ended the stream after an hour. There were so many tech problems. I'm really hoping that we haven't had any of the same tech problems here. So we will see... Oh, no. <laughs> we'll see when we battle the rival. I'm going to show you my DVs. And as you can see, they are almost perfect. With the only one that is not perfect being my special attack with 30 out of 31... This means that my hidden power typing is set to electric so that I have a more effective move against other water types. And if you're looking for the first stream where everything went wrong, it's currently unlisted, so that's why you won't be able to find it. Maybe when this stream ends, I'll, uh, I'll put the link to it in the description so that people can find it. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I don't think I need Hidden Power either. It has enough options that it can kind of get by, but Hidden Power Electric is just going to help. I think it's going to help the most. And, like, losing one IV is not the worst thing in the world, so I feel like it, even if it just speeds up a few fights, giving me a couple more one-hits, then it'll be useful. And I have a medium-slow growth rate, uh, which means training in the early game will come very quickly. Levels will come very quickly, and then it will slow down towards the late game. By level 68, the total amount of experience required for a medium slow growth rate Pokemon is greater than the total amount of experience required to level up a medium fast Pokemon. 
Oh, nature power is stun spore right now. I guess I can't also use that move. That's really frustrating. I'm gonna have to knock out. Oh no, I can knock out the shroomish with astonish. I should, don't go in the grass. If you fight in the grass, when you're standing on the grass, things go badly because then my nature power is, uh, and my nature power is stun spore. Nature power is either mostly on normal terrain, which is pretty much everywhere. It's swift. And then on like uh, the mountainous terrain where we fight Maxi on Mount Chimney, it's going to be Rock Slide. But in general, it's just going to be Swift, which is why I didn't want to lower my attack stat. Uh, notably right now, I'll just, uh, I, can't, I guess, I can't, yeah, I'll switch back to base stats because we're seeing the Zigzagoon stats in the bottom, the bottom left. I need to make some exceptions for that. That's back to Ludicolo now. Ah, I can't run. <laughs> yeah, in caves, it's Shadow Ball. That's correct. I don't want to fight the guy that runs around because he has a, a C dot that has Bide. I'm not really feeling uh, the power of Swift. I don't want to accidentally like have it set up Harden or something and then fail to knock it out and it returns damage with Bide. Oh, I'm in the grass. <laughs> no! <laughs> One patch of grass. You have to, I think you have to fight this guy in the grass, though. I don't know if he catches you if you're below. But spinners can't catch me. I have to talk to them. Because of my modification to the realm. Nature power is... Yeah, it's, uh, it's earthquake on sand. Yeah, so maybe I could have just... Uh... Oh, this is really annoying. This is really annoying. I don't want to use Absorb against it, but obviously uh, Astonish is not good either. But I do want to do the training. If I can fight things, I want to fight things right now. Because we're going to need... The last time I did this, I needed level 35 to defeat Watson. That is far in excess of all of the trainer battles that I can do throughout the game. So essentially when I run into something, I'm just going to knock it out for experience. Obviously, don't use... I guess I can use Astonish against this thing. It's not a normal type. It always seems like it should be a normal type. At least that's what I thought when I was a kid. Scott, will you ever do Gen 5 runs? I'm curious to see how Ferrothorn would do. Well, I can do Ferrothorn as a backport, but... I, I think I will do Gen 5 eventually. As I've always said on the channel, it's like I'm working my way sequentially through all of the generations and all the, the the games well sequentially through the games but also sequentially through the generations if you talk to her then later you can get the white herb here bullet seed remember base 10 power but we don't need growl growl's kind of trash so at least we have more pp Also, while Bullet Seed is slow, uh, it's going to do more damage than Absorb because it's going to hit at least twice. So there's upside there, whereas there isn't... I guess I can fight her. There isn't really upside on a move like Absorb other than the fact that you heal. Oops, no, I want this. Like that. Swift. Okay, this is a double battle. They don't fight you if you don't have a Pokemon. This guy is usually not great to fight because he has Magikarp and stuff like that. I think I'm going to skip him. The... If we're talking about hidden power IVs, like the IVs for hidden power are not. Wait, what? Oh, that's Astonish. I, I, I was only reading the first character of it. I'm like, that should be Absorb. It's not. Like, why did it do so little damage? I'm so confused. Yeah, the move pool is very colorful. That's true. You like look at it and you're like, wow, he's got everything. <laughs> Just not in the early game. Okay, do you see, I did not very much training, 
and I'm level 15 before Roxanne. Like, I don't even think I need to waste time equipping an Orenberry. I can just fight her because I have super effective damage, do four times damage to the Geodudes, and then two times damage to the Nose Pass, and I can also heal with Absorb, but I'll go for Bolt Seed first because it could, oh, well, it could hit multiple times. Oh, she's going to heal it, isn't she? Yeah. Okay, here's another thing. Like, I had my speed dropped, and I'm still faster than the Nose Pass, and I have a speed-lowering nature. Yeah. So I, I do think that the speed lowering nature is the correct choice for Ludicolo. Um, maybe I'll be proven wrong by this run, but in general, like if you can lower your speed stat and still outspeed everything, like all of the opponents that you're going to fight, lowering your speed is always the best choice in a solo challenge. Because speed is binary, so you either outspeed or you don't. If you're outspeeding, you don't need more speed. So essentially, the maximum speed value that is needed for one of these solo runs is 141. I believe that outspeeds every single Pokemon in the game. Um, so someone who has Hawkeyes will probably watch the, the right-hand side of the screen and see if there are any Pokemon that are faster than that. There might be a few on random trainers' teams, but I don't think there are any prominent Pokemon that are above that speed threshold. All of Wallace's Pokemon, uh, all of Wallace's Pokemon are slower. Um, the fastest Wallace Pokemon is 118 speed. Drake's fastest Pokemon is 136 speed. And Steven's fastest Pokemon is 140 speed. So overall, the enemies are quite slow. You have to also remember with speed lowering natures, once I defeat Watson, I will get a 10% boost to my speed stat. And I am also earning speed EVs throughout all of this. What if you need a need to lower your attack and use attack IVs so you don't knock Pokemon into healing range? What do you mean? Like going with like a lower stat so that you get less healing items? Yeah, that's that could be possible at some point. I won't do that. I'm always going to play with near perfect Pokemon. It's just arbitrary. It doesn't have to do with like because like we could also lower attack stats if we are going to use a Pokemon that is never going to physically attack. Like playing with zero physical attack, that sort of thing. But I don't think I'm ever going to do that. It's like too much of a change now. We are going to fight this guy. <laughs> Build him at level 100. Yeah, that, that might be the case. It'll be interesting if that ever happens. Let's look at my EVs. There's EVs. You can see I gain a lot of HP and defense in the early game. A decent amount of speed. For every four EVs invested in the stat, you gain one actual stat point. EVs are down in the bottom left if you don't know where to look. Okay, I should be able to beat the rival. Also, you get healed after that. Like when the sc screen fades to black in the president's office, he heals you. You don't actually have to... Uh, use a healing item or, or go to the center. I've been going to the center like a chump for a while. <laughs> Does absolutely nothing, just wastes time. Uh, I want to buy some escape ropes. They're, they're not as useful in Gen 3 as they are in Generation 2. Uh, I'm not going to save. I think, I think we're fine. Maybe I'll be proven extremely wrong, but we'll find out. Kind of annoying, but fine. Yeah, we're fine. Uh, none of the none of the pr protagonists Pokemon are particularly good against Ludicolo. Uh, I can get the Miracle Seed. I'll come back for that after I catch HM users. I can't get it now because I don't have Cut, and I don't have Cut because I don't want to fight the double battle on the bridge. They their Pokemon are really bad. Two level sevens, and you split the experience with your HM user. This Taylor is going to get annoying quick. <laughs> it's like actually doing decent damage. Please stop. Please stop. Please. Please. Just go on the Pokeball. Thank you. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> Have to buy more Pokeballs? Hope not. Okay. Zigzagoon. Oh, is this still bugged? It's still bugged. One second. There we go.
So these are forced encounters. The game is providing me with the Zigzagoon as well as the Talo. And then when I go back in the other grass patch, it will give me a Meryl. As you can see, deterministic. Great balls that uh, you get as gifts are really good for the Meryl because it has a lower catch rate. Go back and get the Miracle Seed now. Oh, I didn't teach. Cut. Oh, thank you uh, for the $19. Uh, $19.99. I will have to look at that in a second. When I go on the boat. When I'm on a boat, I'll be able to read it. Oh, no. This little thing's hard. Okay, hey, Scott. You never did this in the past, and I'm recommending doing a box art legendary like Kyogre with these moves. Surf, Ice Beam, Thunder, Calm Mind, Crowd on, <laughs> Flamethrower, Earthquake, Bulk Up, Rock Tomb. Oh, it'd be so good. It'd be so good. I think Miracle Seed is the best held item now. I'm I'm really excited to use both the box art legendaries in this game. I, I think they're going to be absolutely fantastic yeah my typing is weak to coding bugs that's true i'm a dark type apparently okay i have stopped picking up flash because it's not needed and there's a little bit of dialogue there as well as dialogue when you teach it to like cast form or abra whoever you're using I don't think that I want to waste that time. Seems better to just save the time. Oh, my my fiance is my wife now. We got married in September. Been a, it's been a while. We, I think we're like officially not newlyweds anymore. I think I, I looked it up and it said you're newlyweds for the first six months. And then I think it's been more than six months now. I'm going to fight all of these people because they go away. They go away once I, uh, once I defeat Brawly. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Meditate's so annoying. Just constantly detecting. Also, I deposited my HM users so that these double battles are not double battles because I want all of the experience like going straight towards Ludicolo's sombrero. We need this thing to be able to beat Watson as soon as possible. Also, the little pineapple on top of its sombrero. Nice touch. Good job, Game Freak. I definitely approve. But but then we have to ask the question. And this is like this is one of the, I feel like a core question at the heart of of Pokemon. Like we ask the question, like, what do Pokemon do when they're in a Pokeball? Do they experience things? You know what question is, like, more important? Like, are Hitmonchan's clothes part of its body? And in this case with Ludicolo, like, is the hat part of it? Or is it actually just a hat that it makes and, like, takes around with it everywhere? And all of them, they have to do it. It's like a, um, it's like a rite of passage for every Ludicolo. Like, I don't know. I, I tend to come down on the side of being like, it's probably um it's probably a part of its body, but that also is kind of weird. I don't know. The more you think about it, the worse it gets. Yes, five hit. That was nice. Okay, well, I know it's gonna heal, but I'm gonna have to just like heal with Oh gosh. Please, no. Doing a decent amount of damage with vital throws, but we should get this. No, maybe not. <laughs> Maybe I need... Okay, the crit. The crit was... It came through for us. Unfortunately, we cannot learn Bulk Up. Bulk Up is a fantastic move in Generation 3. One of the best in the game. Uh, it's unfortunate you can't get re repeat copies of this TM, but I think it would be a little bit too broken if you could. Off to Slateport Beach we go. Uh, we can't learn any ground-type moves, so we can skip the soft sand. I don't think no, we don't we didn't need to pick up the hard scale because my moves right now are kind of trash. We don't want them back. We want to get rid of them as soon as possible. But we will fight everyone here. Well. 
Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's going to go badly and we're going to restart this run. But. Oh no, you lowered my speed. That tentacle is named Scott. Okay. Nice. Huh, bulk up Tyrogue. Can it learn bulk up in Gen 3? Tyrogue is actually going to be decent if it can. Are you winning, Scott? I, th I feel like I'm winning, yeah. I feel like we're, we're doing pretty good already. There's no bugs. Everything got set properly. I I've been excited to redo this one for a while. Yeah, nature power is also earthquake right now, so yeah. Pretty cool. Should have remembered that against the uh should have remembered that against the tentacle, but it's okay. We can use it here. Yay. Would you consider making it rain on the route between Mauville and Fort Tree? Isn't it raining on that route? Uh, I have not changed that. So the behavior on that route is whatever it is in the default game. So I'm mostly confused why it isn't raining for me then. If it's not raining for me. But the behavior that I have there right now in is default. I have not changed it. Go. I just did Magneton. I just did Magneton. We have Magneton in Pokemon Yellow. I just did it. No more Magneton for at least a year. My, my rule, my unofficial rule with myself right now is that I try to play each Pokemon only once every 12 months. If I'm playing a Pokemon more than once every 12 months, it's because I'm extremely frustrated and I know that I need to get a better result and I did a terrible job. Uh, Gyarados is, is an example of that. Where right after I finished it in yellow version, I did another yellow version video and then I did a red version video. There was like three Gyarados videos in two weeks. But I, I, like, I plan to not do that. Okay, we're going to teach Swagger. Uh, Astonish is absolutely useless, so we're going to get rid of it. We're going to get Swagger, because this is going to help us against Watson. I don't need it. We don't need the Mart. Get Thief? Why? I feel like Thief is not... I, I don't know. It's like base 40. I guess it's kind of better than like Absorb. could get it. What do I put it in the place of, though? I don't want to lose Absorb. It's healing. Healing is probably going to be useful against Watson. Nature Power is good. Swagger is good. Bullet Seed is maximum damage. Wait, what was the question about Mewtwo? How long is it going to take me to get its final time? I don't know. Thank you, uh, Natalia, for the four ninety nine. If you did a uh, run through, its base stat total is two ten. Wait, which one? Break, break, bulk up. Oh, oh, oh Tyro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Break, break, bulk up. Hidden power, ghost, earthquake. That's a pretty good set, honestly. That's way better than Gen two. Like, I've deposited them. It's okay. I go back. I wouldn't have forgot that if I was um, playing without streaming. I don't know if you noticed, but as soon as I started playing and stopped doing exclusively voiceover, the quality of my voiceover just dipped like crazy. Um, 
Yeah, it's. I find it quite challenging to play and speak very, very succinctly. Okay. We're going to fight everyone. We're just going to fight everyone. We're going to pick everything up. Doing all this. Because we need maximum level for Watson. We're going to avoid... I should have fought the double... No, I don't know if they start the battle with you if you only have one Pokemon, actually. Go over here, fight this guy. Oh, there's another spot where um, I can use Earthquake. Malville City Beach, off to the side. That's a good spot for it. Okay, Rikos. Get ourselves a rare candy, but we're going to save that for the late game because Ludicolo levels up slower later on. We also have Surf for Tate and Liza, and right now my standard approach is to use my rare candies in front of Tate and Liza. I think that that's, in general, the best time to use them, because the double battle is typically quite challenging if you're just one Pokemon against their two. So boosting your level by 13, because there are 13 rare candies available before them, it's generally quite good. If you're like level 50 or level 45 when you arrive there, it's generally somewhere in that range unless you're a bad growth rate. You then you get up to like 58 or so. Makes the ending of the game a little bit smoother. Okay, so let's talk about this person. <laughs> this person. I right, let me introduce you to the next trainer who is going to get custom art for the channel. Her name is Lass Robin. Lass Robin is a nightmare. Skitty has Sing, Shroomish has Stun Spore and Leech Seed. And the Meryl has Defense Curl and Water Gun. Luckily today, we're not going to struggle against her. But in general, she can cause a lot of havoc. I'm just getting in the habit of always saving in front of her because, yeah, things have, things have gone wrong. All right. Out here we go. Move over here. Uh, I can fight wild Pokemon. I will have to fight wild Pokemon at some point, so just fighting them now is better than later. I'll probably also go back on... Oh, no, no, no. Well, <laughs> we, we can do that, but it's not the, not the ideal circumstance. I'm also going to go back on Cycling Road with the bike and fight all those trainers. I think we should be fine against the rival. Again, his team is like not very good against Ludicolo. If this rival battle is a jump scare, like as a kid, I remember this battle was always uh, extremely challenging. I want to... Mm. Okay, well, it's good that he sent his Wingull in next. I guess that's Wing Attack. It is actually super effective, but oh, it's super effective and it confuses me. All right, let's pray. Let's go. Yeah, we're good. Easy. Rival 2 is, in most games, I would say out of all of the trainers, like, let's say, like, they're, if you think about a Pokemon game in the most abstract terms, like, from the design principle of, like, uh, the design principle of, like, there are certain battles throughout the game, eight gym leaders, four Elite Four members. From that design principle, and then examine... Uh, each battle, each battle slot, like Rival 2 as a slot, because there's a Rival 2 in Gen 1, there's a Rival 2 in Gen 3, there's a Rival 2 in Gen 2. Um, if you think about the battle slots, I think that the Rival 2 in most consistently across the games is one of the most challenging battles. With the exception of Platinum that I'm playing currently on the channel, uh, in Platinum he's not very good. That's just because the second Rival battle uh, comes so soon it's like in generation one it's the optional battle but in platinum that battle is no longer optional no it's stun spore it's stun spore when i'm in the grass it's not swift i just think about it like swift <laughs> like oh this move is swift it's not it's not swift it's nature power they are they are different
Yeah, the first battle against Barry is pretty brutal. He's he's quite good in that battle. We will fight this guy. Nice crit. Sweet. Whalmer. A good Pokemon to use Absorb on. Gain back lots of health. Okay, that's that. I'll pick up Rock Smash now. I don't know when the best time to teach this is. Right now what I've been doing is I just teach it right away so I don't forget. And then accidentally have the dialogue trying to click on the rocks and not being able to do anything. That's always frustrating. We're going to go back here. Oh, you kidding me? Okay, so this is designed the same way as it is in Generation 4. You can't actually get on it if you're not on your bike. I don't know who battles me here. I'm, I so rarely come down here. Fight me. There's like three trainers here or something. My overlay says nature power is 95% accuracy for some reason. Ah, that's interesting. It does have... That's how it's listed in Gen 3. Look over at the other side. It says 95... What? I'll have to look that up. I don't, the accuracy, yeah, the accuracy should depend on the terrain, that's correct. But like, the accuracy, I think what it, it probably what this is, is in the Gen 3 ROM, the accuracy is defined as something, and that's what's showing right now. Um, whereas like, when it's, like my nature power is not dynamic on my overlay, it's literally just showing like, yeah. All the PDSOs only Razor Leaf has 95% accuracy. Really? That's a neat that's a neat stat. I had no idea. Hmm. Apologies if that's wrong. I'll I'll just check on it later. Oh. Uh, uh, paralysis is the most annoying status condition. Genuinely terrible. That's why I buy a bunch of paralyzed heals. I'm gonna fight the win straights as well. Crit, nice. Yeah, it's more annoying than freeze, hundred percent. And sleep. With freeze, you know it's hopeless. With sleep, you're like, oh, this is really annoying, but. Maybe I'll wake up, there might be a chance. With paralysis, it just feels like everything goes wrong. Like, you lose all your speed that you've worked so hard to cut at the early portion of the game and then train back so that your Ludicolo can move first. See, so look at this, look at this, two speed. In two speed, I will be faster than all of Watson's Pokemon. And once he paralyzes me, it doesn't matter anyways, so. I'm once again still standing by my quiet nature. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe that's why they defined it as 95% power or 95% accuracy is because it's like nature power. It's like similar to Razor Leaf. I don't know. I, I bet it's just the ROM. I'm surprised so much training is needed. Watson is so bad. Watson is so bad. I had like 10 resets last time. I had to be level 35 to beat him. Now, I was less experienced then, so I might not need this mu this amount of training. Uh, and you can probably lock through it earlier on with, uh, what's it called, Swagger. I don't really want to play that way, though. I'm going to go, I'm going to do the fight at 33. 
The nice thing about this, though, is that we get to cut training from here for the rest of the playthrough. And we just go as fast as we can for pretty much everything else. This run is really going to speed up, especially once we beat Norman. There we go. We're faster than Watson. Uh, I don't want to fight the guy with the, the two bugs. I think that would be bad. Nah, I'm probably fine. They're they're fully evolved. Let's fight them. We have Swift. Ha! <laughs> Confuse me with confusion. What are the odds? All right, that was a good battle to do. We'll do this one too. You have to dodge her later on, so if you can fight her now, it'll save a tiny bit of time. Not <laughs> yeah, Machamp is so good. Any fighting type, fighting. I believe, I believe currently that the fighting type is the best typing for Hoenn. A truly awesome comeback because in Generation One the fighting type is just trash, but. I, I do think the fighting type is the best type in this game. That is, if you're playing until Steven. If you're not playing until Steven, then a lot of other types fare better because, uh, for example, grass types like Ludicolo really struggle against Steven, but it wouldn't struggle against Steven nearly as much if... Uh, like, it wouldn't struggle in the game nearly as much if he wasn't around. So if you just beat Wallace and then consider that the end of the game, then Ludicolo and grass types will be a lot better. Okay. Thief is Thief is not that good against Watson. I guess you can steal his citrus berry, but um the magneton resists it. Okay, let's see. I think it's going to be bad. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, you don't want to hit that thing. This It's scary. Scary times. Another reason. Attack dropping nature is not so good. Okay. Please hate yourself. Come on. Oh, this fight has not gone well. Okay. Oh, I thought he was going to heal. The Manectric is not always great, though. It sometimes... You know, what's it... What is happening, Swagger? Come on. Ah. Oh. <laughs> this is, like, really bad luck. I can't believe that. So much went wrong with Confusion and, and Paralysis and Swagger. Yeah, the battle was long, too. I know. Everything about it was awful. Like, I would have rather just lose right away. That would be much better, obviously. It might actually be better to just spam Swagger against this thing. I think that's how it works. You can keep increasing attack stat, and then they'll deal more damage to themselves. Like It's probably more damage than Bullet Seat will ever do. Gosh. It's just going to KO me, right? Yeah. Now, this is what I remember. I don't think it's possible to collect enough money to get a uh, TM from the game corner immediately. 
I do know that people tell me that they think it is, but I don't think it is. I think you are wrong. Uh, it just like every time I look into it, there does not seem to be enough money available, even if you fight every trainer and sell every item. This is ridiculous. This is actually ridiculous. <laughs> ah, gosh. Uh, we're not going to train. We're going to beat him now. We, we don't we don't train. We already trained. My plan was 33. There is no other plan. It's the second playthrough. The second plan is uh, the stream ends here, and this is the last trainer we fight. <laughs> like, it, it's either uh, I do this run all over again, or uh, and I aim for 35, or I aim for a different strategy, like using Thief or something like that, or we win at this level. It doesn't make sense to go in, like, switch out of a strategy in a second playthrough. You, you just, like, lock in, go for it, try and get the best possible time. If it doesn't work, start again. Uh, the only time I go and train is first playthroughs. Then it makes sense, because you're trying to just beat the game. Go with the first playthrough, beat the game. Go with the second playthrough, get the best possible time that you can get. So in this case, trying to get... Oh. Aww. Okay, we did it. <laughs> Ta-da! Yeah, send me a guide. Yeah, email me a guide of how to get the TM by the time I arrive in Mauville City. For me, like, just playing naturally, it feels like you can get that TM. The first, like, realistic time to get the TM is, um, what's it called? Usually around Winona. You, like, fly back and then, and then get it. My email is in my channel. Uh, okay, we get secret power now. Finally, something better than nature power. Crash move. Don't like it. More consistent. More reliable. No. was dangerous. Don't. You always should go above him. No! Well, we'll fight her. Not the worst thing in the world. Ta-da! One thing that's required in order to get the TM from the game corner is you have to go back and then you have to skip the rich kids and then go back and thief the nuggets. But that only gives you 10,000, which is only 500 coins. Again, like not, uh, not, not a lot. Wait, is everyone discussing power moves? There's so many moves with the name power in them, like superpower, ancient power, secret power, hidden power. I'm sure there's more. Nature power. I don't know why though, it just never feels like those moves, they, they don't feel like they really like interact the same way. Or I feel like they, they aren't like styled in the same way as like other moves that share a, a term, like claw, for example. Every time I see the claw moves, I'm like, oh, they should have the same effect. But then when I think of power, it's like, oh, they should all have different effects. Maybe that's what the word suggests to me. That's the commonality between them. They're all very different. Power trip. Oh yeah, now th these ones are different. This one is like word a uh, power then word, where the the other the other convention is like word then power. Where hidden power electric you can see on the right hand side of the screen. All of this information is always at your fingers.
I actually am getting the person berries now. Did you see that? Look at, look at how much my play has improved since I first did this run. Impressive, right? Watch me use that super repel when I don't need it and then run into this trainer. It's your bullet seed type? Wait, what? Bullet seeds grass. I think that that was a troll question. Let's go. Shouldn't have run past those people. That's technically not good. Same there. To be more careful. No camper. No hiker. Gondola. Uneventful trip. No! Ah! Ah, so silly. Doesn't matter. The Talo has focus energy, so it can just sit there and do nothing. Truly do nothing when the Numble uses magnitude. Now we'll hit with this. Just annoying that my experience gets a little bit spread out from this fight. <sighs> that is so annoying. That might cause a reset. I think we'll be able to heal enough with uh, Absorb, but... Okay, it's really good that the Poochiana just didn't do anything. Oh, gosh. Stressful. I, I think we have to backtrack down the mountain, though. I, I made the choice of not picking up the Rost Berries. I don't think this person will give me... No, she's not here yet. Go back down. Always annoying. So this is something I've been thinking about recently. This happened to me the other day where I got burnt by that guy and I was like, okay, maybe every time I go by, I should pick up one, uh, oops. Every time I go by, I should pick up one clump of rost berries just to heal that burn if it ever happens. Cause like this is a, a significant amount of time that's lost healing the status condition just to go back up and face Maxi again. Uh, no, this, the, the berries that are there are faster than grandma's house. Grandma's house is further away. Okay. No, the hiker can't catch me because he's a spinner. I think Orenberry. The item doesn't, it doesn't really matter what item you go with in this fight. Sometimes Person Berry is helpful for the Zubat if it uses Confuse Ray, but the Mighty Anna doesn't have Swagger yet, so there's no option for him to Swagger you like he will in later fights. Oh, crit, cool. No, well, okay, we can, fine, we can Swagger it, but like, I didn't want to. Uh. Okay, well, we're fine. It only has Ember. It's not very good. The camera up. Maybe I should have swaggered it. I don't know. Not going to use return today. Fire type gym and we have no water type moves as a water type Pokemon. Feels great. I'm like Tony the Tiger. Uh, you don't need to deposit your Asian mules here. Let's skip all the double battles. Like that. Okay. Return does have higher base power than secret power, so it's possible to use it here. Um, we could go back for it if this fight ends up being a struggle. Um, I just want it to be concise, uh, and it's a little bit more concise to never go back to Fall Arbor Town. 
instead of wasting time. Oh. Yeah, see, my my uh my water typing is really helpful here. And how much have I stalled the sun out? It's probably gonna hit me with one overheat and then it'll Okay, might overheat again because of that damage range. Okay. One reset. Return probably will help here. I still think if I win this time, it'll be more beneficial to have done it this way, though. I'll probably swagger this thing. Oh, I didn't want it to sunny day. I want, I want there to be no sun for the Torkoal, like, really badly. Just swagger this thing until it... Oh, now it's hitting, like... <laughs> Hitting really hard with that, but we we stalled the sun out effectively. So good, Swagger. Gosh, does like nothing. That does nothing too. Wait, I get paralyzed. Of course, I get paralyzed. I guess I should go and get return. I don't know. Hidden power water. We could go get hidden, hidden power electric to have another special move. All of this requires so much backtracking, though. Like, I really don't want to do any of it. Whenever you have to make, like, a major return to a location like this, you're, like, like you're going, like, I'm, I forgot the meteorite, but, like, you're going so far out of your way. Like, it's, like, two minutes or something to go back to Fall Arbor Town, pick up return. And it, it doesn't synergize with anything else. Like, if it's synergized with a whole bunch of other things... Do I have to fight people? I think I have to fight people, too, now to get it. Because I didn't get it the first time. See, this is a uh, this is one of those moments where it's like, I should just restart. We're, like, almost an hour in, though, and I don't have time to do a second playthrough today, so we're not going to restart. But... Ordinarily, I would restart now. If this was a second playthrough for the channel. Or a video. Uh, I should have gone down the other way. This is the least efficient way. Oh, she got me. I think this is another reason, too, that like, training for Watson makes sense, because Flannery's kind of bad. What am I doing? Brain is not working. Yeah, teleport's great in this area, but I don't it up unless I need significant training for uh, rock sand. I allow Pokemon to catch the Abra that need a lot of training for rock sand because they're going to be in that area for a while so they get chances to run into the Abra, but I do not allow it for Pokemon that do not train for rock sand because then it's just, it feels like too manipulative -y. like we're manipulating too much about the game. Because it's only like a 10% chance to catch it and then even if, or 10% chance to encounter it and then even if you do encounter it, you have like a 41% chance to catch it with a great ball. Oh yeah. It's a little bit more base power, but... I have to remember, the time I'm trying to beat is 2 hours and 55 minutes, so it's not like Ludicolo set an amazing standard the first time. That takes the pressure off a little bit to at least get a feel-good playthrough for this, this run specifically. Yeah. 17 more with Silk Scarf. Yeah, it's not nothing. It's It's fine. It might give me some two shots instead of three hits. Just be careful right there when you're going around that corner. Okay. Try this again. Yeah, so that's a one hit now. This is a one hit. 
This will probably be a two hit. Okay, this actually changed a lot. I take back everything I said. Return is the right choice here. I don't want it to be the right choice because there is backtrack time involved. Hi, I, okay, never mind. Sorry, return plus the overheat miss is the right choice. I forgot to state that. That's really annoying. Ha, <laughs> this fight. Okay, this was the most ridiculous fight of all time. We are going to take it today, but I do want everyone to know that I had no right winning that. <laughs> uh, gosh. Silly, silly, silly. Yeah, critting was the right choice. Exactly. <laughs> I had no right in winning that. Absolutely ridiculous battle. I need more of those. Can we have more of those, please? Just in general on the channel? What was it? The Claydol video or something? Was it, I think it was the Claydol video that I released recently. And I was like, the number of freezes that I had in that video were absurd. Like, it was so many. It was just freeze, 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 freeze. I'm going to get Hidden Power Electric after I do Norman. Aw, are you kidding me? Yeah, less Quillfish. Yeah, the Quillfish run, that has to be the worst luck I've ever got. I don't know if there's another run that can match that. That one is so bad. I will have to do that again. And that that's probably one that I will end up doing... Uh, in less than a year because I, I it, it haunts me. It's like the new Gengar vs. Alakazam. I'm just like haunted by it. I'm like, I gotta go back. There I have to give Quillfish justice. I gotta flinch this SB on turn one. That's my speed. Okay, so Watts uh Nor Norman, sorry. The speed that you want to keep in mind for Norman is 69. This is very important. Uh I believe it's the Vigoroth or something like that has 69 speed. So, or the maybe the no sl slacking is 68, I think, and Vigoroth is 69, or Linoon is 69. Vigoroth is no, no, yeah, Vigoroth is like 63, slacking is 68, uh, Linoon is 69. So, 69 speed. I ha of course, with my speed lowering nature and the training that I've done to this point, I have 72, so we're we're good to go. Yeah, Flannery should have given Fly, I agree. This game you get Fly way too late. It's very painful. <laughs> there's so much just wandering around in the mid game. And there's some things you can do to optimize that, like catching an Abra and then teleporting between a bunch of places where you need to go. Uh, th there's like a certain amount of that that you can do, and I, I haven't got quite to that level yet. Maybe, maybe in a year or six months I'll be able to do a little bit more finesse like that. But right now, I, I can't. I just usually end up making some kind of small mistake that, like going into a center and healing, or I'm, I'm not confident enough to just go through a portion of the map without healing. That march, I'm not confident enough using my ethers early on. Like I said, though, I think my emerald play is my worst out of the series right now. I actually think my platinum play is better than my emerald play. But maybe it's just because it's a new game and I'm inexperienced. Okay, here we go. Norman. Let's go. That's why we had the person berry. We might get yawned by the slacking, which is going to be real annoying, but... We have absorb. So we should be okay. Oh, it's kind of annoying they both slashed, but... Eh. Absorb first turn when it can use counter. Return, I think... Maybe just keep absorbing to gain health. Oh, I don't gain very much at all. Oh, gosh. Oh, this is not looking good. I think we have to swagger the slacking. Uh, yeah. It would be nice if we could get Brick Break this early. That would really solve, solve this. Could also go Silk Scarf for a little bit more damage, but it looks like I have consistent two hits against these three. And if I have... Okay, well, it didn't... Okay. Fine. Do I swagger it this turn? No, I swagger it next turn. Oh. Fine. I forget what turn it was on. It's 
loafing. It's going to attack. Gets so scary. It's so scary doing that. I don't know what else to do, though. Like, we, we have nothing good. <laughs> See, Ludicolo is designed to frustrate me. It's so powerful when you face it. And then um, Reed Johnson says, <laughs> Ludicolo has no weakness. I know. <laughs> it feels like that when you're playing against it. And then when you use it, it feels like trash. This is how Terran players must feel. Ah. Uh, come on. You have Thief Citrus Berry? I could Thief Citrus Berry, yeah. I don't know if that's going to actually do make the difference that I'm looking for, though. I think here we're looking for good luck. And, like, maybe level 40. 40 will give the two hit on the Vigoroth and conserve a decent amount of HP. You shouldn't swagger on loaf turn since you outspeed. You shouldn't swagger on a loaf turn since you outspeed. What? Why is this? I damn. Am I? Did it get like the good damage range like the first two times, and then ever since then it's just been terrible against the Vigoroth? Okay. Okay. Okay, well, one other time. We're gonna fight more people. Yeah, I understand now. You you like wanna swagger on the turns where it's actually attacking so that it has a chance of not attacking, but that's why it's like really hard. Okay, so I feel like um, this is like something that is specifically related to my brain and not related to anyone else's brains. So if you listen to me say this and you're like, that's not true at all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that that little slack, slack off did a lot. But um, yeah, if you listen to this and you're like, that's not true at all. Like just, it's my brain. It's, it's not, it doesn't need to be your brain. But the way my brain works is like, if I do a run and then I don't play it for like I don't know how long like two weeks it's almost like all of the information except some of the like general scaffolding drops away like all of that information just gets deleted and I'm left with like a really um, like a really I'm kind of stuck here as well like with no good trainers around either and like I can't get to level 39 Without major backtracking. Alright, so we're just going to luck through this because it's going to take way more time than it's worth to do anything else. Anyways, um... Yeah, it's kind of like everything drops out of my brain. Except, like, the general scaffolding of the run. Like, I remembered from Ludicolo that Steven was pretty brutal. And that with grass types in general, they were not getting good times. But other than that, and that it had terrible moves at the start. But I didn't really remember anything else. So. I think that... For me, at least, in my workflow, there seems to be... It seems to be more beneficial to do a bunch of runs really close to each other like the same day or two days apart like taking my time with this sort of thing doesn't make sense and that that tends to be the case for most things in life with me like the longer i work on something the worse the quality it just like the quality slowly declines as time increases because i get burnt out of the project quite quickly and then i also um like the stuff just keeps falling out of my brain i keep needing to put it back in and the efficient efficiency just gets like completely tanked well, I got yawned. Finally.
Come on, hit yourself one more time. Nope. <laughs> Do we just spam swagger against it? Get it fully set up and then make it KO itself? Like the most silly strategy, but I might have to. I'm gonna try it this time. <laughs> if it works, we get a second lucky win after Flannery. I'll be happy. Let's go. I guess I can attack here when it's loafing and then swagger it when it's attacking. Okay. Yeah, it might be the case that Swagger is only good when it's at low HP or when I'm at low HP. Like, it might be better to, like, attack early on like this than Swagger once it gets once it gets lower so that we're more likely that it doesn't snap out. Oh, wow, that was a lot of nothing for a little bit. Ugh, stop yawning me! Uh. This playthrough does not include Frontier Brains, no. I do like sleep strats, but none are available right now. Can't get rest. Can't train. Without major backtracks. Gonna counter, okay. Gnosis would be a godsend right now. <laughs> uh. I'm trying to think like like do you run hidden power fighting just for this fight? Absorb does so little though. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, Blackout Train, I don't know, I don't know how much experience, it, it might be the best situation that I'm in right now is just to Blackout here over and over again, get the experience from the first three. Please stop countering me. There is no pure water stab. <laughs> I wish I could have a water move. Honestly, I wish I had a water move. Like, if it had a water move, everything would be different. There's just no water moves available. It's painful. Let's go. Nope. Counter is good if you absorb. Yeah, it's true. I don't know. I'm not gonna, I don't know, I'm, uh, return. I, I want to use return for maximum damage. I want to like knock it out as, as soon as I can rather than sitting here in battle against it. And then it just goes for a facade and then I'm like, yeah, I really wish I went for return. It's like, uh, it's like, um, what's it called? I don't know what the t term is, but it's like essentially like, yeah, I, that was a loafing turn, but anyways, um, it essentially like, I want to be using return if it goes for facade, but I want to be using absorb if it goes for counter. No. Yeah, it's a catch 22. That's what I was looking for. Yep. I did consider hidden power water. Yeah. It just doesn't seem to make... So, like, the reason that I, like, decided not to go with Hidden Power Water is, like, it seems kind of like a waste because you get it, and, like, yeah, it solves this, like, small portion of the game, but it, it doesn't feel like it, it has reaching imp implications. Whereas, like, Hidden Power Electric helps against Wallace and the Gyarados, and it can help against Steven in some niche cases, but... Wow. Wow.
Yeah, Hidden Power Water helps here in Flannery. That's like it. Then it gets replaced by Surf and you don't use it anymore. I think hidden. Mm. The, okay, the the thing about hidden power is that the slacking can counter it. I don't know if any of you know that, but the, it does not uh, mean that I can just spam hidden power water against the slacking. I, I still have to use something else on turn one, so it doesn't fully solve it. The only use for Hidden Power Electric is Winona, Pelipper, and Wallace Gyarados. What? What? Giga Drain is the best grass type move this thing gets. So, other grass types, other water types I mean, it's usually better to go for Hidden Power Electric. Yeah, but Stab Surf is 142 power divided by 2 when you're fighting a water Pokemon, which is significantly less effective. Okay. Stop. Stop with the facades. Yeah, but Giga Drain isn't very good. It has 5 PP. I don't think you understand. It has 5 PP. And it, it only has base 60 power. I don't know. I honestly... Also, I consider not using Hidden Power. So maybe Hidden Power Water just to solve this. Like, solve Flannery is... I don't know. Maybe Hidden Power Fighting. Like... I want a fighting move to just knock this thing out right away. Ah, uh, the last time I played Ludicolo, I struggled on everything. It was just as bad as this. It was, ah, uh, I think it's actually worse this time, but last time I, it was 31 resets total, and the majority of the pain was uh, kind of like distributed throughout the run. It was not as localized as this. This is definitely localized pain. Or like, as painful as possible in this specific moment. Okay, well this is good. What we've wanted this whole time, right? Yawn. Stop yawning me. I'm gonna swagger. Oh gosh. It likes using yawn when you're asleep, by the way. Okay, we're going to start again. I think for this one... So, I can win with a crit on both Flannery and on Norman, and I can have a ridiculous number of resets to Norman, and then some resets to Flannery, and some resets to Watson... And just, like, the early game feels so sloppy that I don't think it makes sense to continue and do another, like, hour of play and then get a two-hour time. It makes a lot more sense to just restart right now and, uh, and, and then try again with a different strategy. So, I think... I think Ice Beam... Giga Drain Surf has the mid game covered, like I, the killer said. I don't really like using Giga Drain on water types because it's so limited in PP, and there are so many water types that you can train against in the main, in the mid game, especially. 
Uh, so like having to use a lot of items and go back to the Pokemon Center a bunch wastes time. I thought I could solve that with Hidden Power Electric because I didn't really think I needed anything else. I figured that my water typing would carry me through Flannery and it would make it not that bad. But Overheat's doing just slightly too much damage and I don't have a special move to deal with her. I think that Hidden Power needs to solve Flannery and should solve Norman as well. I can also utilize Thief to steal more Citrus Berries like the killer said. Yeah, you can beat Waters with Return. Sure. Yeah. That's significantly worse than Hidden Power Electric, though. Like, Hidden Power Electric is base or effective 140 power, whereas Return is going to be 102. And Hidden Power Electric will utilize my higher special attack rather than my lower physical attack. So, yeah. Yeah, Flannery is one of the better gym leaders. She's, she's really good. I don't know if Hidden Power Grass solves Flannery, though. Uh, one is not going to be an issue, I don't think. Yeah, water is better short-term, grass is better long-term. Yeah. Only slightly better, though, because grass is not that great offensively. Like, we want to be using Surf, mostly. Because, like, it's, like, slightly better long-term. No, no, no. There is no hidden power normal. Can you attract slacking? Oh, yeah, we might be able to attract slacking. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Oh, thank you for the 20 Australian dollars. Good day, good day. Happy Friday. This is for my round at the pub for you and your wife. Have a nice Easter long weekend and remember, in your results we trust, yes. I think, yeah, attract is probably like a decent idea. Mimic. Mimic. Is there anything useful? I don't know if there's, like... It would be, like, kind of ridiculous if we were able to mimic Belly Drum, but, like, I don't think that that's actually objectively the correct choice. Yeah, yeah, imagine mimicking Belly Drum. Yes, yes. That's what I'm thinking, like... This, this play is, like, not the most consistent thing at all, but it would definitely be fun. Um. Because you could just mimic, yeah, you could just mimic Belly Drum, knock the Lai Noon out, then, against the Slacking, hope that you survive one turn, Belly Drum when it's loafing around, and then knock it out. Like, it's possible. Where is Focus Punch? I don't think I've ever got that TM. Where's my mouse? Look up where it is. Route 115. No, requires surf. Focus punch. Doesn't work. Yeah, I'm faster 
I'm faster than Linoon. Oh yeah, is Mimic Lore a priority? I don't think it is. So we would just not be able to use it first turn. It sets a belly drum. Yeah, either way it's gonna get me. Yeah, that strat doesn't work. That would be fun if it did work though. Rock Smash, has any play here? Yeah, we're not so far outside of Lily Cove. Do we learn Rock Smash? We do, yeah. I looked at all the fire moves. The, t the coloring. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go with Hidden Power Water. I've decided. We're doing Hidden Power Water. Okay, second attempt. Here we go. Ludicolo. I knew this one was going to be painful. I just didn't know how painful. Go. Yeah, substitute. You need to get to Lily Cove City. So yeah, you need Surf. You need to get past Norman. You need to get past Norman with Protect to get Protect as well. Those are like... Like, I get mentioned Protect a decent amount by people in the comments because it seems like an obvious answer to slacking, and yes, it would be, but unfortunately, you can't obtain it through regular means before that. Okay. Go. We're giving it the fully, giving it the fully competitive name. I just want this to go quickly. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> As I pick up the potion. There are my IVs. They are a little bit different this time, so Hidden Power Electric is a little bit better than Hidden Power Water in terms of IV spread. We lose attack and defense in this case, but again, only one point out of 31. Much better than 1 out of 15, which is the case for DVs in Generation 2. Mm, we have Brick Break for Steven, so Hidden Power Fighting is not useful uh, late game. I did think about Hidden Power Fighting, though. Let it crush should do better this time. I hope so. I'm hope so. I'm hoping so. Thank you, Joanna, for the six euros. Come on. Come on. Yeah, Surf and Ice Beam is like all you need for Steven. No. Gotta remember that. In the grass. My brain struggles with context contextual stuff like that. It takes a long time for things like that to sink in. Okay. Oh yeah, just fight her from here. Because if I fight her from here, then I have normal terrain and I can use nature power. Ah, oh, still not doing very much damage. Also, her trainer graphic didn't show up. That's weird. Why didn't it show up? Why are there so many problems today? I don't think getting that's very good. I also don't think getting the potion from the first city is very good either. Uh, you can't attract on Watson because attract is given by... Wait, where is attract? Maybe I'm wrong. Where is attract? Where do you get attract? Ah, uh, you don't get magnitude. You get, um, get rock, thro rock slide. Not earthquake. Earthquake. 
Verdant Turf. Oh, okay. Yeah, we could use a tract on Watson. It won't work on his, uh, gosh. It won't work on his, uh, what's it called? Magneton, but it'll work on, could work on the Manectric. I don't know. That, that's tricky. I, I, honestly, I just kind of want to level up more for him, but why are all my trainers broken? What's happening? What is happening? Ah, oh, I clicked the wrong thing. Gosh, I'm going to start again. Sorry, this run was really sloppy anyways. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we, we'll be right back after these short messages. Uh, I enabled the thing that allows me to show the move pool during battle, and I had accidentally turned that on, but I forgot that this was a new thing. Okay. Okay, let's go. <laughs> it's gonna feel really weird if um, my streams ever become polished enough that it's there. There aren't just constant issues. The curse of the Ludi Trollo. Yeah, I know. Thank you for all the support, everyone. I really appreciate it. Obviously, playing quite badly today. Sometimes this thing has a berry, by the way. <laughs> uh, well, I hope they'll still be fun when they get polished, because I'm hoping that they will be polished at some point. It, it kind of breaks my heart every time there's problems on these streams, but... Like, I, I, I sit in it for hours after just being like, oh, I didn't, like, I'm very disappointed that this happened, but I don't know. I really like how much experience you get from that Trico. It's very satisfying. Almost level. The next level. Level 7. Yeah. It shows the base stats until after the end of that fight. There's a little flag that gets set when you defeat the uh, rival. And then there's a flag that gets set when you get the Pokedex. It's a flag for everything, obviously. Yeah, the edited content is more polished. Yeah, I agree. We try to make it really polished. Like, uh, in December, my video editor went on uh, vacation uh, on, like, the 22nd. And I had we hadn't finished all the videos yet. So I had to edit the remainder of the, uh, like, I had to do a whole bunch of stuff still on the um, Generation 4 videos. And... Uh, there was this annoying stat flicker that we were having all the time with the enemy trainers where like their stats and the Pokemon sprites would just move out of position and I, I went through and patched all of those frames like cropped a little piece of an image and put it on top so that we would not have the flicker Um. so yeah trying, trying to make stuff as polished as possible there was a couple of the videos where I called it out and I was like hey look at the flicker and I left it in in some spots so you could see it but we, I tried to patch it out in in most of the places so that it was as clean as possible. Oh, you can talk to him from here. Just like in the earlier games. I don't need a lot of those, I don't think. You're doing a great job. Keep it up. I will. Hello, Scott. Watch your videos all the time. Love them. Well, I'm glad. I'm really glad. <laughs> hey, we're back at Norman already. Yeah, that was really fast. Three minutes. I'm a professional speedrunner. Oh, that's May's bag. That's funny. I just had a recognition. Yeah, okay. Ah, uh, see that little. So whenever my whenever May is turned, uh, one. Eh, fine, I'll fight it with astonish. But whenever the May character is turned to the right or to the left, she has like a little green bag. I don't know why. I always thought that that was just like like she was just like 
<laughs> I don't know. I, I thought it was her butt, honestly, for the longest time. And I was always looking at the sprite and goes like, why is it so awkward? Like she looks like she's like bending over or something whenever she's like oriented this way. And then I just realized like, oh, actually that's, that's like a little like bag that she's carrying around. It makes a lot of sense. I don't know. I haven't never had the same thought about the male character. I need to go and check now. Like, does it also, is there also a, like a weird bag on the male character? We'll find out. See, right there. The, the little, like, it's a green bag. It's just, it's like one pixel too low. If they had moved it one pixel up, my brain would have never had this problem. Ah. Uh. Oh, yeah, I, I, I did. <laughs> She's a 10, Scott. Um, no, I did. I definitely had this, this problem uh, with Brandon. I definitely thought he had white hair. I was like, oh, white hair, cool. Like my dad. My dad has been like, his hair has been just like completely gray. Like uh, as long as I've known him, essentially. So I'm already going gray. It's my, my beard. My beard started a little while ago. Okay, I'm, I'm excited about it. I'll look great. I always said when I was in music and I was like trying to be a music professor, I was like, I'm gonna look so distinguished so soon. It's gonna be great. <laughs> People are gonna think I have like all these like, is, like eminent degrees or whatever. I'm actually just gonna be a chump. But at least I'll look the part. Uh, yeah, this. Oh, how long is my beard? It's pretty short. No, okay, well that works. It's part water type. I did want to use nature power though. Nope. Get these berries. Page MO1. We're going to do the thief struts this time. I don't know what I'm going to give up for Thief. I'm probably Absorb. Maybe Bullet Seed. I don't know. They're both kind of useless. We get Hidden Power Water, though, so... Uh, it, probably Absorb. I'll probably give up Absorb. Oh, gosh. You know, I, I, I don't often talk about things that I struggle with in my videos... Like, sometimes I, I try and focus more on, like, improvement, learning mentality, um, keeping things positive. I also like to go into the details, and there's not a lot of time to talk about details if I just constantly talk about myself and, like, things that are going wrong. I have talked about the problems with software, that kind of stuff. But I'm going to mention something else that, that is challenging to deal with emotionally, and that's, like, when you... When you have something in your mind is like the right play and you're like this is gonna be good i know that this is gonna be good and then everyone immediately tells you that it's not good and that there is a very clear and obvious uh option that is different than it that is the better play it's like wow this is like really it's like it's a struggle for my ego at least am i on regular terrain <laughs> I don't trust it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't actually know if this is a grass spot or not. Anyways, uh, it's just like, it's sometimes hard for... E I was on regular train. All right, cool. Um, I know I'm on regular train here. But it's it's hard. I find, like, it, like, the impulse reaction for me is to just be like... It's either, like, at first, it's to tell people that... Oh, at first, it's to tell other people that they're wrong and go like, no, 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 I'm right. And like, we definitely saw some of that prior in this stream where I'm like trying to justify my my like current conception of how the run should go. It's like, okay, I'm like I'm working through this process of like, now I'm feeling like, uh, like my ideas are being attacked in some way. So I have to like 
justify them and like show you why my ideas are correct and why this is going to work. And then slowly the house of cards falls down and then you just like you get into the valley of just like, oh, this feels really bad. I was definitely wrong. Or uh, I don't know, you just like ignore the people or something. You just ban them from the chat. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Easy. Um, but I prefer to take the approach of like I want to constantly learn and get better uh, at, at this game. And so, at some point, then, humility has to come in. I think I was playing the last run incredibly badly. And I think that there were some really good ideas in chat uh, that were pointed out. And I'm excited to use them in this run to hopefully improve Ludicolo's results. Anyways, uh, just, it's like, this whole idea of, like, people coming after one of your ideas, it gets magnified on YouTube as a platform. Because instead of, and I have talked about this before, instead of like three people giving you the feedback, it's like 50. I'm like, oh yeah, okay. I guess everyone really disliked my hidden power choice or whatever it is. Usually my natures. My natures I get wrong all the time. I do think that the quiet nature is right though. I'm going to continue justifying that until we get to the end of the game and I lose because I'm too slow. Then I'll admit it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, we don't have to heal here, but we can buy stuff because we have money now. Pokeballs so that we can catch HM users. Paralyzed heals so we don't get stuck later on. Escape ropes because it's good to have a couple. And antidotes because it's good to have a couple. I think I can cut the antidotes for my play in the future. That's probably a mistake. I'm just being a little bit overly cautious. Because I do pick up some Pecha Berries, and Pecha Berries can serve the function of antidotes. You generally only need one or two Pecha Berries. One for Wallace, one for Steven in the worst case scenarios, but... Uh, with Ludicolo, I'm going to run rest at the end of the game, so it's it's okay, because we have Randish. Uh, that'll be our healing. Go back. Do, 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 do. Oh. Get ourselves a Talo. My brain was like, attack it with Astonish. It won't do very much damage. Yeah. <laughs> That's the play. <laughs> Hey, Scott, did you think about neutral nature for all Pokemon? Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm doing that in my first runs in Fire Red, and I'm doing that in Platinum for my first runs as well, but going forward with those runs, whenever I do follow-up playthroughs, I will not be using a neutral nature. It will be an ideal nature. I think if I ran neutral, like, uh, neutral natures all the time, I would also run no hidden power and maybe... Like, I would try and remove as much generic stuff... Like, I would try and make, like, all the Pokemon basically as similar as possible. So that we're really just competing with, like, stats and move pool. Like, that's the the basis for the comparison. But right now, as things are, it's like, I'm changing a lot of things. Like, abilities, I'm changing natures, changing IVs, changing hidden power types. So, I'm going to continue with the, the current approach. I didn't get the Miracle Seed. I think I want the Miracle Seed. Go back. Uh oh. Some stuff is like, it's a good idea. Like, like, that's a good idea. And I don't necessarily like think it's a bad idea, and that's why I'm not going to do it. It's just like, I have to make a choice about the direction that I want to take things. And I would rather take things in a direction that forces me to learn the game and adds complexity than removing complexity. Um. I had to make that, like, early on in my Generation 2 series, I made a lot of choices that were specifically to remove complexity from the game because I felt I was not up to the... And in Gen 1 too. Like, I wasn't using Rare Candies for a while in competition videos because I was like, it's going to be too hard. Like, I'm not going to be able to make the right choice. That did not feel good. Like, it, it didn't feel good from, like, a learning perspective, but it also didn't feel good from, like, presenting results because then things are skewed. I would prefer to just... Learn the game and get good. And yeah, we can nature power this because it's earthquake. Yeah, I remembered. I need a repel counter in this, in this generation. I thought we had we. Ha I think we have one for uh, fire red leaf green, but we don't for emerald. We 
be able to find that. Well, I get, I get, I get hidden power um, water this time, so I do get a stab water move until like before Norman. But last time I did not. There were no stab water moves until after Norman. I didn't catch a Meryl. Oh, this is a disastrous run again. Ah! I can't. I can't. I can't go forward. It's not good enough. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just can't. It's it's just not good enough yet. <laughs> We're going to get one that's good, but this one wasn't it. <laughs> Move to leader is in uh, Lily Cove City, so that's also after Norman. There is the move reminder, but we can't remind ourselves anything because we 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 start with like no good moves. We start with everything, so we already have everything that we would remind. The curse of Ludi Trollo. I know it continues. Thank you for it says tenth super on a live stream. Wow. Thank you. Very generous. Uh, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. I'm, I promise. Okay. Super competitive nickname. Say yes. He keeps asking if you don't. <laughs> Let's go up here. All right. I knew this was going to be a long stream, but I didn't really think that we would be almost two hours in, and the furthest we've gotten is is Norman. That's rough. This is what happens when grass types don't have sleep powder. All grass types have sleep powder. Am I right? <laughs> Okay. No. I don't know why they gave this thing such a trash moveset, yeah. It's so bad. Escape camper, thank you. Yes, everyone. It's your duty to like the stream. If you don't like the stream, think about how crushed my ego is going to be after this. At least when it ends, I can sit back and look at my analytics and go, oh, it was all worth it. <laughs> no, no, no. We're going to get a good result. I'm going to look back on that. And I'm going to be happy. That's what this is about. I mean, the best result that I can with every Pokemon in the game. All of them. All 386. Uh... I'll just buy all these now, fine. Should have been more decisive there. The real good result was the friends made along the way. Aww. That is true. Also, my typing. I'm a normal type right now. Oh, I'm just going to switch to EVs for a second. These are Zigzagoon's EVs. My, or IVs, sorry. IVs, yeah. It's going to switch. See, there's my Ludicolo. Uh, well, if we find anything, we'll just... It'll be fine. Uh, we'll skip the antidotes this time, and I'll get these Pecha Berries. Oh, remember when I used to say Pekka Berries? I think it was... Was it with Pekka Berries? I think it was Pekka Berries when I first did it. Pekka Berries? Cobberries. I don't know what it was. I said something really awful the first couple videos, and then like everyone commented like it's Pecha Berry. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, I never did actually look and see the H there, so oops. Maybe you should take some rest. I'm gonna take some rest soon. My wife is going on a vacation. Um and while she's away, I'm gonna chill. That's something I was gonna mention in this in this stream. I was gonna completely forget. Um, 
But I'm going to be taking two weeks off streaming. So this is the maybe last stream unless I feel really into the idea of streaming on Monday or Tuesday next week. Um, this is potentially the last stream for a couple weeks. I did a lot of like, I did a lot of um, collab streams and stuff like that. And I'm, I was doing, I was doing like one collab stream a week, one solo stream a week, and then one produced video a week. That was like the, the kind of like content flow for the last two weeks. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to take some time and, and just not stream for a bit. I want to also reflect on the collab streams. I've already done a decent amount of reflection on it, and you probably would have seen some of that in the Tuesday stream that I did with Snowy. A lot of the experiences that I had with uh, Speedrunner, Steve, and uh, and Exceptional, those um, lessons, I think I was able to apply some of them to the to the stream on Tuesday. Not all of them. There's still a lot to, to learn and improve. I think my streaming is like definitely one of the weaker areas of my skill set. But I am I am looking forward to doing that improvement. I'm just gonna take some time, reflect on stuff, and also get get ahead again with video production because with the videos coming out this weekend we're gonna be we're gonna be behind. Lepa berries, the most important berries for your PP. <laughs> the last stream ever. Yeah, last stream ever. Last stream in two weeks or so. You could also get the quick claw. It's over there in the trainer school, but I don't think I need it. Oh well, no more streams. Yep. That's that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I really enjoy streaming. Streaming has been a really, really, really fun experience. And I'm so glad that, like, when I first started this, it would, would have been impossible to stream like this with the overlay and everything else. Yeah, I can't believe I beat Eggy in, in the races either. I'm kind of, yeah, I was just, I was just stunned. I do think that my play has dramatically improved. And I was watching a bunch of his videos before we did the races. So I was like, uh, I feel like I was absorbing all of his knowledge about how to be really good at Fire Red. And then I just applied it. I was just like, I'm going to get substitute all the time and just spam this move because it's so good. Um, fun funnily enough, I don't know why my brain just doesn't go there to that same place in Generation or in Hoenn. I'm not just like, oh, go, let's go get like substitute. Like, I should probably be thinking that. It, it seems like it would be good here as well. Granted, there are less Pokemon that have Scary Face on their set when compared with uh, Fire Red, but I still think it would be good. Okay, I'm on, I'm on normal terrain. I looked that time. See? I'm improving. <laughs> Swift. Ta-da! I want to absorb the Nink Ninkata anyways. Just heal. I, did, I have played Kanto like four. I played Kanto like 400 times last year, I think. Oh. I didn't look that time. It's been a lot. It's been a lot of Kanto recently. I This year, at the end of the year, I really want to do like a... You know how like on... Uh, I'm This is going to date me, but like... Uh, maybe it still exists, but uh, much music. I remember they used to do like the top, like they would like rank videos and stuff at the end of the year, like it's like your New Year's countdown kind of thing, like top 10 best like love songs of the year or whatever it would be. I remember I really liked those. So I kind of want to do that on the channel, like top 10 hardest challenges, top 10 uh, most painful battle moments. I don't know, like top 10, something like that. Just like, uh, recap some of the stuff that has happened throughout the year and rank it because really what I want to be is Watch Mojo. That's a joke. 
if you were wondering. Okay, so let's move on now. Uh, <laughs> top 10 most unfortunate bonks, yes. Uh, uh, and I think in those videos, like, I want to, like, do, like, a ridiculous stats video where it's, like, this year I played this number of full, complete playthroughs, and I did this number of attempts that were not completed for various reasons. Uh, I just think that that kind of stuff would be fun so that you can get a sense for, like, what actually goes on behind the scenes, because, like, I've done some Emerald playthroughs that haven't made it into videos, and uh, I do other stuff that isn't making it into videos. Like, I recorded some other content of another very prominent type of challenge that, um, for whatever reason, just always fails to make it to the editing room before I'm just too unhappy with it that it never goes anywhere. Escape camper. Top 10 tech problems. Yeah, that, that is actually the video we need. Uh, Dropbox deleting all my files currently feels like it's winning that race, but hopefully... Hopefully, uh... Well, actually, hopefully nothing else is worse than that this year. Okay, I'm coming back for the Miracle Seed. I am coming back for the Miracle Seed after I catch three HM users, the first of which is Halo. It's gonna go in right away. No, it's not. Never mind. Why would it cooperate? There we go. That wasn't that bad. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Do, 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 do. All the way over here. Well, oh, gotta turn something on, because apparently this is still bugged, even though I looked into it before the stream. There's like something conflicting, I think, in the code where it because there's a flag that tells the game that it should only show zigzagoons on this route. And when that flag gets turned off, then I want to the encounters to be possible on this route. But currently it's just like, oh, you you told it me to turn off encounters on this route. I'm just gonna turn them off. But it's like, no, 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 the flag is set to true and I have the first badge, so I need Zigzagoon to show up. Uh, and then when all that goes away, it goes back to the regular encounter table as you just saw, saw there. We're gonna get Meryl. The great balls. Natalie, thank you for the 999. Hey, Scott. Oh, oh gosh, I can't, I can't read while I'm walking. Walking in the game and reading is hard. Walking in the game is, and reading is hard. Uh, fight this. Oh, I really want to read this. Pokemon got a new evolution and better abilities. TMs. I recommend Scissor. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> I do want to play Scissor. I want to play Scissor again in Gen 2. It's been so long since I played it originally. And I think it's been, it's actually been so long that it deserves uh, another fully produced video. Basically, my metric is like if I was complete trash when I made my first video, both like production and uh, and gameplay, then I'll I'll remake the video entirely. And like usually, if it was a versus video, I'll just pair the Pokemon with a different Pokemon for its second second outing. That way, stuff stays fresh for all of you who are viewing. But we also get a chance to re-rank a Pokemon that has already been done on the channel. Uh, that feels like the best of both worlds to me. Um, but yeah, Scissor, Scissor is definitely one of the Pokemon that I want to do a re-ranking with very soon. Nature Power. Earthquake. Look at that. I remembered it. Okay, this run is feeling better. This run's feeling better. I'm happy. So far. Don't worry, Ludicolo will let me down. <laughs> uh, he'll smile the whole time, though. And we're doing it with a smile. Okay. Ah, uh, no, 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 I'm stuck. Let's go through here. Ah, I'm chancing it. <laughs> Gotta run those like five steps with no repel. Alright, out. Brawly's gym. Deposit HM users so that we don't run into double battles. This is my internal monologue. Go into gym. Find first fighting trainer who is down at the bottom right here. Yes, I will re-rank Steelix as well. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> no. Last night, I played Onyx in Crystal. Last night. Um. Yeah. Ah. Uh. 
Onyx has to be one of the most frustrating fully evolved Pokemon. Or I guess it's not fully evolved anymore, but wow, is it a bad Pokemon. It's just bad. It's so bad. Reranked Tyrogue. Excuse me. <laughs> this comment is not looking out for my mental health. At least it's faster than Steelix, I know. That's true. But it does take four times damage from water moves, which is like real bad. Like, so bad. <laughs> uh, okay, Brawly. How did this one go last time? I like blocked this out of my memory or something. That crit was helpful. I think we just absorb this. It can't do anything to me. Oh, it can set up light screen. That's annoying. Uh, it's actually useful here that he is uh, using all of his potions on his former Pokemon. Because now the Makuhita is not going to be nearly as powerful. I'm going to oh, get it back down lower and then I'll Bullet Seed. Hopefully get more than two. Yes! Did it! Easy! Much more dominant Brawly fight than previously. Off we go to Slateport Beach, where we're going to use a lot of Earthquake. I could hold the soft sand, but I think it's going to waste more time than it's worth, so no, I will not. Oh, that it. So, turns out, my brain was like, well, I don't want Earthquake, but I want Swift. It does not work that way, so we cannot, in fact, hit the Wing Gull with it. Mm hmm I need to conserve the PP. The most precious of resources. Now here I would pick up this potion, I think, in a lot of my playthroughs, but that's a mistake. Like, I'm about to get the soda pops, and unless I need the potion right now, I think I should just skip it and keep fighting people. I'm trying to optimize, um, inspired by Gym Leader Matt, I'm trying to optimize a little bit more efficiently and just really be decisive about exactly which items I need. If I don't need the item, just leave it. Like, we're just going to leave it behind, which is why, like, last time I got into problems with leaving Return behind. But, yeah. Yeah, grab yourself a Sodi Pop. Yeah, it's Gym Leader Matt. This whole area is Gym Leader Matt themed. He probably comes here and hangs out on this beach. That's my head cannon. Maybe he owns the this guy's soda pop shop. He He's like the owner of this area. This guy's his employee selling the, selling the soda pops here. The parent company is called Tombstoner Brother. How many more memes can I steal? Let's just go through the list. <laughs> Ah! Doors! Okay. We did it. The door was no match for us. Okay. We skip Swagger. I think we might skip Swagger because we have other options available to us now. Or we get rid of Absorb. Ike, is Ike still there? <laughs> Help me! I can't decide! <laughs> uh... Pretty good. Ike left for now. Okay. Darn. You don't need Absorb. Yeah, I don't think I need Absorb either. I think I'm going to give up Absorb and then take Swagger. Because I feel like Swagger is useful against the Magneton. And I do want to Swagger. Them. No, 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 no. I'm so not used to picking it up. It's so bad. <laughs> Thief is like... Thief, especially in Generation 2, is also quite... It's quite trash. But we're going to get it today. Actually, you know what feels more thematically relevant? Teaching Thief over Astonish, so I'm going to do that. Why? I don't know. It's fun. It looks nice. It looks nice teaching a dark move over a ghost move. I'll teach Swagger over Absorb. 
Then we will come back here once we have obtained the rights to buy hidden power water. <laughs> Ludi Colo trash moves, I know. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. Let's go. Come on. Hey, we didn't use our cherry berry. That's awesome. That is awesome. Think like that. You can always use this actually to attack things. It, it, it does. It does serve that function. By the way, you cannot thief an item unless you do not have an item. So I'm not trying to steal anything, but the, the, the reason that against Watson it will be useful is because you will have already used your item in the battle. So we'll use the cherry berry against the magneton and then thief the citrus berry from the, the Manectric, which gives us some healing and takes away its healing. The, anytime in a game there is a... Uh, oh, don't do that. Shh. Anytime in a game there is something that adds something to you as a player and takes something away from the opponent, that thing is... It, essentially, it's like doubly effective because the difference between you and your opponent... Oh, the difference between you and your opponent... The, the gap has widened by twice what the, the value is that's being like added and subtracted. So if it takes away 30 HP from him and adds 30 to me, that's a difference of 60. Um, which is very major. Obvi oh, I didn't, what did I do? I went back there and healed and I didn't get my HM users. I'm talking too much. Focus. Oh, let's knock it out. No, that doesn't work. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's falling apart. Everything's falling apart. Don't worry, I'm not going to restart. Not yet. Okay. We did it. The hardest part of the run is done. We successfully picked up our HM users. I'm just going to fight everyone over here. Yeah, Thief is my strongest special move. Although, Bullet Seed, if it hits... If Bullet Seed hits three times, it does more damage than Thief. So, it is, like, Thief is technically, okay, well, Swift is great in this case, but um, Thief is technically the most powerful move, but, you know, I should probably, the way I should probably approach this is I should just cut the tree and then, t and then fight him that way. Unless I have to go around here, then I can just fight him either way, it doesn't matter. Cherry berries are like the second best berry, I think. They solve they solve a lot of problems. Not as many as the person berry, but but a lot. Yeah, bullet seeds expected value is higher, yeah. Like over time it will usually roll better damage, I think. Hmm. Can't unfortunately get Earthquake in this case. Have you had a reason to equip? Yeah, I have. Lepaveri is useful against Phoebe because pressure on the Dusclops after it protects, you can then restore your PP. But the Lepaveris also function like other ethers that you can just use when you need more power points. I didn't have problems here, so I'm not going to save in front of Last Robin. Um... If if things go wrong here, I really apologize. They're not gonna. We're fine. This fight looks completely unnoteworthy in this case. Don't worry. Whale Lord and Relicant, they're coming up soon. I think that my highest damage is still swift with nature power in this case. Because I get the attack boost from Roxanne, and I think that that makes it like slightly more powerful, even though it's physical. If I had lowered Ludicolo's attack stat, then it would be a different story. But that's why I don't like lowering either of the attack. Like, I really only want to. You really only want to go for a modest nature in these kind of playthroughs if you're a hundred percent sure you're never going to use a physical move. And I generally don't feel that confident in first runs. Um. I 
feel more confident in second runs when I know that I'm not going to use them. But even then, don't worry, with Roselia, I'm going to completely forget about that. No, no, no. This rival battle, it's not. See, you can fight him. Every tile that you fight him on is, is regular is regular tile. So you, you get swift. This one I know, because I, I had that before with the previous Ludicolo playthrough, and I remember, like, calling it out in my brain. Like, no, no, no I can use nature power during this battle. It's okay. But thank you for the heads up. It does look like it's about to be uh, swift. When you look at the tiles. Okay, I thought a little bit about this section of the game uh, since last time. Oh, well, uh, here. <laughs> here your logic does apply. I should be attacking with Bullet Seed. Uh, it's kind of an awkward situation where Thief is the best, but it's not really good. Don't fight Shift Tree, I guess, with this move set. We won't have to. Um, I thought about this area of the game a little bit since last time. I'm gonna do the cyclists later. Oh no, I'm gonna do the cyclists later, and prioritize the surrounding areas with Mauvil City because the cyclists I have to come back to and I have to go on the bike, and then their Magnemites take forever to knock out, and I didn't need to fight them last time. Uh, I could have just skipped that entire area and fought people only around Mauville City on the routes that I'm going to go down later in the game. So I think doing that is going to be slightly more concise, maybe save like 15 to 30 seconds. Hey, I can thief this. Got stolen, Abra. <gasps> Dodge. Look at that. That was so good. Okay. Yeah, Bullet Seed also rolls for crits more. That's true. Like, of course, when Bullet Seed gets one critical hit, it is not as good as when Thief gets a critical hit, but it just has more chances to roll for it. So on average, it's going to do a little bit more damage. On average. The on average is very important in that statement. Um, did we get the bike? I really am going to confirm that we got the bike. That, yeah, we did. We, aww. I have to bullet seed this, but. No! Don't make me knock you out with Swift. Fine. Oh, okay, I had some water. My voice was getting a bit tired. With substandard hydration. Okay. Wouldn't Bullet Seed crits be better than Thief crits if the opponent boosted their defense? What? Uh, no. Yeah, Nature Power Swift. Consistency. Predictions on Sharpedo performance. Ooh. Honestly... Uh, I don't know what growth rate it is. What growth rate is it? It's medium, medium fast, right? It's probably medium fast. If it's medium fast, it's going to do okay. It's going to be like one, one, like our best time right now is 120. So probably going to be, it's like 122 by Mewtwo and then 127 by Hariyama. Those are like the best times. So Sharpedo is going to be like 145. That's going to be my bet right now. 145, 150. I would be surprised if it's more than two hours. It's slow? It's not slow. That's cruel. Is that is it slow? It's slow? Okay, never mind. Uh, two hours and ten minutes. 
<laughs> like immediately just like 20 minutes slower, like 30 minutes slower. It's bad. No, I don't know. I, I don't know. It, maybe I, hopefully it's better than that. But like my, my immediate, my immediate thought is just like, if it's slow, it's bad. Like as soon as I see a slow growth rate Pokemon, I'm like, Oh, this thing's going to do awfully. If it's, if it's, erratic i'm usually like yeah it's probably going to be really bad too but i reserve my judgment a little bit on erratic pokemon because sometimes they can do well if their early game isn't absolute trash because of type matchups um yeah uh fluctuating is one of the best growth rates in the game i think it might be the best for solo runs it's like you level up so quickly in the early game and because of that, you just, like, you get set up with such a giant lead at the beginning because you just steamroll everything and the momentum carries you. And then you can use rare candies when you've accumulated them, whereas erratic, you want to use rare candies right away. But, like, right now I only have one rare candy. If I want to level up, I get from, like, 31 to 32 or, like, like that's not very useful. Whereas it's much more useful if you can, like, use 15 rare candies right before Steven. Like, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> it's just, like, so good. Uh, fluctuating growth rate's amazing. So good. Because I think they thought it would, like, hold Pokemon back from getting to the highest level, but in these challenges, you never need the highest level. Or very rarely you need the highest level. Don't do that. Don't do that. This. I want to save my nature powers for this thing. I'm going to use an Aether now on nature power. I don't want to go back. I want to fight this next person. My menuing was so bad there that I think if I went back, it would have been faster. <laughs> Not actually, but it felt like it. Whiskash has the potential to be pretty good, I think. Medium fast Pokemon feel like middle of the road from a growth rate perspective. They have to have something else going on that makes them incredible, like an amazing move like Bulk Up or Calm Mind. Like on like Learn Set Calm Mind, not TM Calm Mind. It comes a little bit late to really accelerate a Pokemon's performance. Um, yeah. Oh, Nat Natalie. Thank you again. Torpedoes, Move Pool, Emerald. Level 1. Bite, Leer, Rage, Focus Energy. Gets Crunch at level... Okay, Crunch at level 22 is major. That is... That's really big. Because some dark Pokemon, like Crawdont, they have, like, no good uh, dark moves. And I think Sharpedo is special attacker, right? Is it a special attacker? If it's a physical attacker, am I... Is it a special attacker or physical attacker? Remember, attract. Oh. Yeah. I don't know if I need Attract, honestly, right now. Against Watson, I don't think I need it. Mixed. Mixed physical. Mixed attacker. Okay. Mixed is fine. Mixed is fine. Like, then at least it can use Crunch, so we don't have to complain. I'm just fighting everyone. I want to make the best chance possible for this. Last time I needed, like, last time I did this challenge, uh, not on this stream, I needed 35, so I figure... Just put the time in. Let's get 34. That'll make things a little bit easier here. Just more health. More more of everything. And then, and then we take on Watson. I guess there is a play here where you can remove nature power and get a tract. I'm going to stick with this for now. Yeah. I'm going to stick with this. Uh, 120 attack for s n 95 special attack. Well, 95 special attack is not terrible. Oh, careful. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, Obviously cherry berry, and then we're going to thief the citrus berry. Okay, Watson. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Watson. Nature power. Mm, do not paralyze me. Do okay, crit. That's great. Perfect. Perfect. All right, all right. This is good. Good start so far. We're gonna swagger this thing. Hit yourself. Hit yourself. No, that's not what I wanted. Hit yourself for even more. No. Hit yourself for the most. Come on. Come on. Come on. Are you kidding me? There we go. Finally. 
Terrible luck. Terrible luck. Absolutely terrible luck. Uh, we are going to reset. That's the first reset of the run, but, like, I think... If anyone came in here and thought, like, oh, we're going to be through this, no problem, no resets. Like, no, no, no. There's going to be resets here, of course. Uh, and also, no, do not use Thief against the Magneton. Thief uh, is resisted by Steel type. The Steel type resists the Dark type uh, until Generation 6. It's nice and annoying. So that we want to use Thief on the, on the Manectric when it comes out to get its Citrus Berry. Stop it! Ridiculous. There we go. Let's go. I'm gonna heal it. <laughs> Can you please hit yourself? Please. Please. It's gonna wait. It's gonna... Yeah. Come on. Okay, we're resetting. The Manestri's gonna get me before I am able to thief anything. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The pain. This Voltorb is really annoying. I wish it went down in one hit. And same with the Electric. That would be so much more consistent. I could always Bullet Seed gamble there, but... Yep. Nope. Hit yourself again. Come on. Yes! 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 The Bullet Seed crit! Okay. Not bad. Thief? Steal the Citrus Berry? Hehehe. <laughs> Bullet Seed. Let's go. Yes. Okay, well, I'm just going to Thief. It's a little bit... Uh... We have the Citrus Berry, though. We'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Unless we just get paralyzed, like, infinitely like this. Okay. Whew. Oh, we did it. Okay, much better Watson. It wasn't amazing, but, like... Yeah, I like the strat. I, I think, I think uh, Attract can also work there. Maybe attract in the place of swagger and then just attack the magneton until it faints. Like, that can work. You could also do attract in the place of nature power and then bullet seed the first two poke. That's rock tomb. Whew. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> I'm not getting through this rock. It's too tough for me. Oh, uh, yeah, no, no, we gotta go up here. I'm gonna fight these guys because they're in the path and then we'll, we wanna get by them quickly later. Fight her too. We're gonna have to do training at some point in the run, so we'll fight all the, these trainers that are just randomly here. It'll improve our odds against Norman. Even though we have a better set for Norman. And then let's just stack a little bit more in our favor. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up, we're gonna grab Secret Power. And then we are going to backtrack to Mauville's, or to Slateport City, which is a major backtrack. Yeah, I'm going to get that just in case. I don't want to chance things. No more like minute, two minute long section wandering back to get. <laughs> Tomb Smash. Yeah, we don't want to wander back though to get like, uh, what's it called? What's it called? Yeah, the Rostberry. Rostberry, that's the name of it. Brain.exe stopped working. And last, last patch of berry. If I see some more, I'll have to pick them up. Okay, secret power. Let me go learns fire punch because it's Mexican. It's like spice. All the spicy food gives it the ability to to fire punch things. I, I that's how I feel honestly when I cook with like spices though, like. I like, I like de-seed a jalapeno pepper and then I forget about it and then I rub my eye like three days later and I'm like, oh no, this was like, this is definitely a mistake. My eye is never going to recover from this pain. Ah. Uh. Yeah, like sun struts are a thing, but like, 
We are, we're going to one-hit all of her Pokemon until the Torkoal, and then we're going to do su such significant damage to the Torkoal that it's it'll be worth it. Uh, I think we only need one of these because we're just going to surf after. Normally when I buy Hidden Power, I buy several copies just to make sure that I have access to it later. I think Thief goes away now, or Bullet Seed, Thief, Bullet Seed, Swagger. I think Swagger goes away. We definitely don't need Swagger anymore. Did I do yeah, I did. I did the Trichos. If I didn't do the Trichos, please tell me in chat. I did. I definitely did. Let's go. Those are Petra Berries right there. <laughs> I remember when I'm like, hey, the next Petra Berries I see, I should pick them up. They're like literally right there. There's Petra Berries right there, Scott. Ah, uh, sometimes. Sorry, Pekka Berries. Tangela. No, what was it? Tangela. Tangela. Tangela is the correct one. Tangela is what I used to say. Look at that. 420 effective power. Nice. <gasps> Double battle. Got me. Hit him. He'll be quick. The coughing. Coughing give decent experience, too. Yeah, bye, Namal. Did you get... I only need one set of Rostberries. Even last run didn't beat Norman with Swagger. I know. It's bad. I want to fight this Garmy guy. He gives he gives good experience when you can beat him. And Hidden Power Water is good damage, so... Might as well take him out instead of the other person. Uh, what am I doing? Don't, do, don't play like that. <laughs> That's bad. Alright. Sell the Nugget. Buy the repels. Doot, doot, doot. Lots of repels. Let's go. Bye bye, Pokemon. Fight this guy. Sorry, Picnic or Nancy. Level 37. Oh. <laughs> it's really not the move you want to use against that thing. Water move on a Lombre. Person berries. This is the best item in the game. More person berries. Again, the best item in the game. Six of them total here. Can also get a carbos down here. Last time I got the uh, the protein, but I'm gonna skip it this time. I don't think I need it, and I think I can just. Uh... Yeah, I don't. I don't need it. I'm not gonna use it. I'll, I will use the carbos though, because I have a speed lowering nature. So any little thing that I can do to just make up for that, I think is worth it. Yeah, counter hits hidden power. It's correct. But I have other options. Like, I can use Bullet Seed or I can use Thief, which counter can't hit. So, because we have options, uh, then I can hidden power on the turns when the slacking isn't going to counter me. I just want to say, um, I don't talk a lot about the visual design of my channel very much, but I do it all myself. And... I really like this green with this uh, this blue for Ludicolo on the overlay, like the dark blue with the like, light green. I think it looks so good. Um, if you don't think so, that's fine. You can just leave. Uh, <laughs> I really like it. So, yeah, that's how I feel about this this color combo. It's a good one. I always try to make it that like one portion of the color is like very similar to one of the tones of the Pokemon and then the other one is like in some ways like not like color theory complementary but like thematically complementary in some way. And then the image that's behind them is always related to their type and it's always a real world image because I really like the idea of like grounding digital media in some like um, some form of like lived in texture where it's not just like, oh, we just made this with the computer. Hope you like it. It's like, no, no, no. This is like a thing that was photographed in the real world. It feels real. It's like, a, this is like a, a water picture. 
Robert, I think there's a bunch of other people who really like Ludicolo. Because I... So many people tell me about how they love Ludicolo. I'm like, I... I hate this thing. Mostly because it's just awful to me whenever I do these playthroughs. It's like the new Sand Slash. It's like Sand Slash the second coming or something. It's just like... Oh, it's on the champions team. It's ridiculously annoying. Uh, I honestly, the probably probably the be the better analog for Ludicolo would be the rivals executor in Generation One, which is also very trolly and likes to use Leech Seed. But yeah, I can see why it's popular. It's really happy too. Like, and I I like the fact that it's so joyful and has a tiny little sombrero with a with a. What's it called? Pineapple on it. It's great. <laughs> what about Magneton? Yeah, Magneton's also bad. That The rival fight, the champion in yellow, all of his Pokemon are bad except the Flareon. Flareon, I'm not going to complain about. It's fine. Sometimes it causes bad things to happen, but I'm never like extremely frustrated with it. Whereas every other one of his Pokemon can cause serious issues. Okay. Natalie, no Curse of Ludicolo this time. We got by Maxi. Things are feeling pretty good. We're going to go back to Fall Arbor Town to get Return. I do think it's worth it. We have more options then. We might not... Meh, do we need it? I think we don't need it, actually. Never mind. I changed my mind. I'm going to be more decisive. Yeah, Hidden Part Water is killing it. I agree. That's what, I was, that's what made me change my mind. I looked down, like Hidden Power Water, Effective Power 105, utilizing my better offensive stat. We probably don't need Return this time. We can just skip it. Continue with the run. Now, it might make sense to fight some trainers in here to get to level 40 before Flannery. That way I have Damage Running Threshold. Plus, I will then ensure that I have the damage, same Damage Running Threshold for Norman. Last time fighting Norman, I was like 38. Um... I was struggling to get to 39 within the city, and that uh, that really impacted my my chances. What is this Kecleon doing in here? Get out. Well, we can just turn into a water type, then hit it with the grass move. Haha. <laughs> oh. Bullet seed doesn't work very well on that. I never realized that before. There's another trainer here. I knew it. There he is. Okay, I'm not going to get... 40 for Flannery. That's fine because I have super effective damage. I'll get 40 for Norman though. Because we'll have Flannery's experience and the experience from his gym. I could have spent extra time there grinding, but nah. What berry is best here? I think the Oran berry is fine. We don't get access to Mystic Water yet. Okay, Flannery, here we go. This was bad last time, but we should one-hit the first three Pokemon. If the Slugma survives, I will be... Yeah, okay. I'd be so... so I, I'd be like the most surprised person in the world. Okay, how much are we going to do to the Torkoal turn one? That is a lot. That's a lot. That's... That's a lot. That's... That's a lot. I didn't expect that. Wow. <laughs> this went from like real, like last time it was like pretty brutal. This time, so simple. So, Hidden Power Water, uh, yeah. I'm feeling good about this choice. Yeah, if Scott's seeing the light after using too much return. I agree. I'm definitely seeing the light right now. We don't have to go back down there and get uh, Hidden Power this time. Go over here. Bottle all those people so we can run by. Ooh, careful. I'm gonna go face Norman now. Let's go fight him. Fight Dad. It does feel like Gen 2 and you're relying on like hidden power and return. Those are like your only options. I'm sorry, game. You just didn't give me anything else. All of my viewers are leaving. I'm sad. Get the white white herb. I could have, like, stolen the White Herb from Flannery so that I had two. I, I didn't want to wait for it to set up Sunny Day, though. I think it would have been worse to wait, let it set up Sunny Day, do less damage with your water move, 
Also, if you're going to heal here, which I don't think I need to, I, I could, like, I can I can use the heal, but if you're going to heal, heal before withdrawing these people so that there's less Pokemon on the little, like, animating, like, animating on the little heal pad. That was a tip that someone gave me in the comments once, and I, I thought about it a lot. I'm like, this is going to be way too much to think about. Ooh! It's going to be way too much to think about in my playthroughs. I'm not going to be able to incorporate it, but I have been able to, so I'm happy about that. It is weird how it can learn Fire Punch. I agree. It gets a lot of punches. It's like a punching duck. Thunder Punch. Dynamic Punch. Mega Punch. Doesn't it get Mega Punch? I'm pretty sure it gets Mega Punch. Should backport this thing to Gen 1. That would be fun. Ice Punch. It can freeze itself, I guess. All water Pokemon can get ice moves. Okay, we're level 40. Norman. We have arrived at Norman. I was going person berry last time, but I wasn't doing very good damage to the Spinda. I wonder if I go Chesto berry so that the slacking can't get me in yawn. No, let's go person berry because I can thief the citrus berry. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, Norman, let's go. Okay, wow, we crit the Spinda. So we still have our berry, and now we can't get rid of our berry. <laughs> no! This is not what I wanted. Maybe we just no item for this fight? I don't know. I don't know how much we do. Okay, so hidden power. It's going to counter my hidden power, so we want to use Bullet Seed for maximum damage. Counter, then hidden power water. Uh, it heals Bullet Seed, then hidden power water. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. Well done, everyone in chat. You're much better at this than I am. I appreciate all of the advice and the help. It has gotten us. It has gotten us here. We now have Surf. At long last, Ludicolo is unleashed. Bye, Hidden Power Water. You were you were fun while you lasted. Oh, we get to see him every time. <laughs> he surfs. He's like, hello. He's so happy. Look at how happy he is. It's ridiculous how happy this guy is. Oh, there's Petra Berries there if I leave them. That's good to remember in the future. Pe Pekka Berries, sorry. By the way, did you know in the in this trick house, if you complete the second and third puzzle as well, you get the hard stone. I did not know that. Until recently. Almost like I was playing a rock Pokemon. Hmm. Okay, we get the rare candy from down here. This is very useful later on. And then we're also going to go in here. And we're going to grab Ice Beam. I want it now. I will have to come back here to get Rain Dance, which is unfortunate, but... That's fine. Mystic Water comes right after this area when we defeat the people in the Weather Institute and get access to the cast form. The curse has been lifted. It has. Uh, we did it. No, out of my way. Stop running around and being so excited. We're playing Ludicolo. Okay. Behave yourself, Scott. Uh, I think I get rid of Bullet Seed. Bullet Seed is kind of trash now. <laughs> like, it's not really useful. We, yeah. It's not useful. We're going to get Giga Drain right after Winona, and it's not useful for Winona. Plus, the Rivals team is just like, there's no prominent water type that I have to knock out. There's Pelipper, but it's not mono water type, so... Oh. Oh, Pecha is for Peach. Uh, I'm so so silly sometimes. I don't get these things. See, Ice Beam's really good here because her grass team. That's why I don't fight her earlier on. I could have for experience, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, Surf probably does more damage than uh than than Bullet Seed. Yeah. Bullet Seed's really bad. 
And it also takes forever. Like, that's another thing delaying Ludicolo's time, is the fact that, like, the moves it used take forever. Nature Power prints a whole extra text box. Oh. Nature Power prints a whole extra text box, and uh, Bullet Seed has to, like, hit, like, five times. Yeah, Rain Dish. Rain Dish heals it when there's rain on the field. So when there's rain out and about, then, um, out and about, sorry, I'm Canadian. Um, then, uh, then I'm going to heal, which is going to be relevant for the Steven fight and maybe the Wallace fight. I could have gone with Swift Swim instead, but it's not relevant. Like I've said before, even, even with a quiet nature, I will be outspeeding everything. Hopefully that covers it for you, James. Thanks for hanging out. Congrats on the Cascade badge, too. I don't know. This is Vanilla Emerald, so it's not raining today, but I don't know what the criteria for the rain is on this route. <laughs> Made you straight up belly laugh? Good. I'm glad. Oh, Axu and Ike are going to discuss Substitute. I'm ready. Please, share all your knowledge. I want to learn things. Oh, no. Oh, oh, like how to menu. Item, take Mystic Water. Item, give Mystic Water. Okay. We did it. In the mid-game, if you're using Teleport to manipulate waypoints to move around quicker, um... You can heal on locations like that with a bed, and that will uh, not change your waypoint. So it, it can be useful in some cases. Not in this case, but oh, this is really unfortunate. Okay, please don't hit yourself. Thank you. Oh, we snapped out. Good, good, good. Uh, where is Substitute? It's in Lily Cove City, and it's a move tutor in the department store. So you have to beat the optional rival in that city also to obtain it. Which is, uh, I think that's one factor why I have not obtained it in the past. Mostly just because I don't like fighting him there. It's wasted, I feel like it's wasted time. Okay. That person, I'm not get. I'm, I'm trying to predict her motion. And know where she will be if I just walk straight out onto the route. And it looks like she's either pointing at the square that I'm about to walk onto or about to turn to it. So I do need to stop right in front of her and make a small delay. I thought about walking one step backwards every single time. So I wanted to turn into an ice type so I can hit it with serve. Yeah, I thought about having one step backwards. I need to memorize that one too, if it's deterministic, but it might not be. She might continue spinning when you go down. I don't know if they spin when they're off screen in this generation. They didn't before, but they might now. Again, heal when you only have one Pokemon. I deposit my Pokemon so that I don't do double battles in this gym. I will probably do some optional training here just because I have super effective damage in the form of Ice Beam and Surf is good against the Skarmory and they give really good experience. One thing I didn't know before is you can just do that and skip both of these trainers. So I've been fighting them like they're mandatory for a long time, but they're really not. Um... That hasn't made its way into my produced videos yet. It's been a more recent. It's been more recently learned. Yeah, sub I think substitute blocks curse. Yeah. Maybe not in this game. I don't know. Like, I haven't used a lot of substitute in this game. It does. Oh, that's sweet. That's really good to know. It always feels like, uh, it always feels like Protect should be the one that blocks Curse. Didn't block that Ice Beam though. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's this meme, or this video, it's not a meme, but it's it's meme worthy, of the Foo Fighters, and they're like talking about like Christopher Walken, like uh, introducing them on stage or something. They're like, 
we told him it was like the Foo Fighters or something like that. And then he goes on stage and he does it like with like Christopher, how Christopher Walken talks. He's like, introducing the Foo Fighters. And it's like, oh, it's so funny. Uh, go find it, please. It's, it's worth it. Okay. Um, Foo Fighters. Yeah, it's great. Okay, here we go. Winona. Uh, I think I, I just sweep her team. I what what could possibly go wrong, right? Like this thing could get really annoying apparently. But it's gonna be fine. Finally a really easy battle. Don't even need to think about this one. Yeah, sub hour Winona. This is not a good time, but formerly in my Emerald series, this would have been considered a very good time. Like, for a first playthrough in Emerald a year ago, I would have been, like, blown away that we were getting this time. I don't need the cast form because I'm not going uh, to use Flash. So I can just leave it in my box. If I was going to use Flash, then I would uh, keep it with me. This route just made me think of a Hello Monday song that I really love. Run, don't walk, the sky is falling through. It's a good song. I haven't heard that in a long time. Gotta not sing it. <laughs> Get demonetized. Best route in the game, it is. Definitely the best route in the game. Love it. Okay. It's time, Giga Drain. Whew. Took a long time to get here, but we've arrived in our final form. I think we give up beef now. Well, I'll keep Thief. I'm going to give up Secret Power, because Secret Power you can just get back whenever you want. And it's physical, and we're mostly a special attacker because of our nature. And its base stats, like, it's very much oriented to be a special attacker. The Ash Root is very good as well. Sea Surf's really good. It just knocked out that water type. Didn't even need Giga Drain. Um, the Ash Root is nice too, but I personally prefer the vibes of this one with like the nice sunny sky and everything. So, yeah. I do have to do Beauty Fly versus Dust Talks at some point, but do remember I have never done a versus video ever in Emerald. Ever. There has never been a versus video in Emerald. Let that sink in. <laughs> Foo Fighters! Yeah, it's so good. It's so good. That video is amazing. I think about that, when I think about that video, when I think about that video, I it brings me great joy. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of versus videos that Emerald really needs. Um, let me list some of them. Zangoose vs. Sviper. Uh, Sharpedo vs. Camerupt. Huntail vs. Vers Gori uh, Goribus. Um, Gori Goribus? Goribus? Probably Goribus, because it's like an, an, an abyss. Uh, Volbeat vs. Illumize, which is going to... Illumize? I, uh, I don't know. That one's going to be really interesting because they're the fluctuating and erratic growth rates. Like, each one of them is different, which is going to be very, very, very cool to examine. Gorbis? Gorbis. Oh, it's Gorbis? Gorbis. Oh, I don't like that as much. <laughs> I prefer my pronunciation. Goribus. Goribus. No! <laughs> I froze it and defrosted right away. It didn't matter, but like, it's still frustrating. Anytime the Pelipper, anytime luck goes my way against that thing. It's okay. I don't say Pelly Piper. That's another one I used to say as a kid. Pelly Piper. I, and I looked at it and I was like, you don't look like a Piper, but okay. Uh, what are my EVs at? I could probably throw in a little bit of calcium. Probably a little bit. I should do a, I should get an EV total down there so that we can really uh, 
You can really see what the total currently is because I can't do math quickly enough. I think we're, we're approaching the limit though. All right, we got a little bit more. That's enough for now. I could go and get substitute, but I don't think I need it. Bop, 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 bop. All the mistakes. Oh, look at that. You see that fly? That fly was beautiful. That was the most beautiful fly. Oh my gosh. All of today's stream was worth it for that moment. Seriously. We did our, we did a, every time I have a guest on, we should do a flying challenge actually. I should have done one with Snowy. Where we fly around the map. That's how I should close every stream. We just fly around the map and see who can do it faster. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> uh, it's really hard in generation three. It gets a little bit easier in generation four, but it's really hard in this game. You have a lot more wiggle room for EVs? Okay, cool. That's okay. It, it's fine. We we got a little bit. We did we don't I don't think we actually need them. Plus like 30 more in in that stat is is great. Yeah, Gen 2 flight, but like you you do you can't actually fly to the other region unless you're in it. You can only fly to the region in which the like you're currently positioned in that map. So it's it doesn't make it harder. The thing that makes it harder is that like in generation one and two you push up or down to go to the next city, but in generation three you have like a little cursor that you have to go around and like um place on the right place. Do you ever focus on EVs in your run? Yeah, sometimes. Like if you watch the stream with Ex Exceptional and I and we did uh the video is listed as Venusaur. We also did uh Raichu in that run. And during the Raichu playthrough, I really focused on EVs. And I think it was quite successful for that run. So before Brock, I just like sat in Viridian Forest and knocked out only Caterpie, Metapod, and Kakuna to raise Raichu's HP and defense EVs as much as possible. Because I knew late in the game, because we were going to do both League attempts, I knew late in the game I would have to take a lot of Earthquakes and survive them. So I figured if I can just... Um, if I can improve my defense as much as possible early on, that it'll have uh, a lasting impact until the end of the game. And I think it worked out. Unfortunately, with like most runs like this, you just don't have time to really optimize for EVs and like pick which Pokemon you're knocking out. You fight the mandatory trainers. Maybe you make some decisions about like, I want to fight this trainer because they give better EVs, like these couple trainers. But overall, it's just like, how do I get levels as fast as possible and win? Uh, I don't think I need the person berry. Person berry is typically the standard play for this fight because he can swagger you, but I think Surf is gonna one shot the Mightyena. I'm decently leveled. I'm ten levels higher. Yeah. And then we have Crobat, which Ice Beam can manage. Okay, I got confused. Maybe. All right, we're fine. If I got confused and hit myself twice there, I would have lost. Metagross. Metagross versus Salamence. Yeah. Kyogre versus Groudon. Yeah. Interestingly enough, Metagross versus Salamence was... I was supposed to do that last year. That was going to be my final video of the year. But then uh, later into the year, I was like, I don't really quite feel ready to do second playthroughs yet. So then I decided to just do them as solo videos. I think what might end up happening is we... I'll probably recombine the legendaries in Generation 3 and end up doing something like Dragonite versus Salamence and then Metagross versus Tyranitar. So you have like the Rock and Steel legendaries paired together and then the two Dragon legendaries paired together and then we can compare that way and probably do those two videos back to back. Oh my gosh, someone else is saying the exact same thing in chat. <laughs> uh, Teeman, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking of doing. I originally was going to pair them together, as was suggested, kind of by their introduction. But I think I'll do it this way now, since I did those other two videos. Like I said, I don't want to repeat the same video just over and over a bunch of times. That's not going to be interesting for you guys long term. And and I do value... Like, I put a lot of thought into trying to make, make this stuff as in, engaging and interesting as possible. 
I don't want to just like bloat everything. No! That was bad play. That was just bad play. He shouldn't have caught me. Okay. Yeah, Deoxys is going to be weird. How much time did that waste? Not much. Not very much. Maybe like 10 seconds. Those are like small things, but they're, they're like, they're annoying. It's annoying when it happens. It's like, okay. Granted, I, I'm going to level up more from that, so it might not be the worst thing in the world. So here's one moment where Hidden Power Electric would be nice. Right now, we, we gain access to the open seas. Right away, there's this guy with a Gyarados. Kind of annoying if you only have Ice Beam and... Oh, we froze it. Cool. Uh, we have to decide if we go into Shoal Cave. I'm going to go into Shoal Cave to get the... I don't think we need the Nevermelt Ice for extra damage. Like, Drake is not going to be an issue. But I am going to go in here and pick up the uh the rare candy i think getting the rare candy in here is worth it so we're starting at like 35 seconds on the clock 110 35 we'll see how long it takes me to get it but it's like we're almost there escape rope out yeah so like out by like 52 so and i had to walk over here so like if we count the time for me to get to the pokemon center maybe okay Maybe like 27, 28 seconds to get that rare candy. In my opinion, that's worth it. That's a whole level for only like 27 seconds. Pretty pretty efficient. Got to be careful here, by the way. I I do want to do I do want to do the Deoxys video of like all of them, all of the different forms and see which one's the best. This this Manectric has thunder. Very good. Any more plans for plat content soon? Yep. <coughs> yeah, we rotate through the games, so you can get a sense for... This isn't always true, but you can get a sense for what's coming next based on what I most recently released. So the most recent release on the channel was an Emerald video, and then we're going to do Relicanth and Wailord this weekend, so more Emerald. So the most likely thing that would come next on the channel would be a Fire Red video. And then following the Fire Red video, the most likely thing that would come is Platinum. Because I rotate through. That's typically how I plan all of my videos. And then occasionally because of special days, like let's say Mother's Day or something, I will release a video that is not part of that cycle. Just to... That was really bad. Um, there are going to be... Uh, uh, they're going to be three videos this weekend. Yeah, three videos this weekend. Every day. It's going to be... It's going to be great. Also, if you have an electric move, you can fight the Gyarados trainer. He is just past Pacific Log Town, and he's a really good experience. Is starting Latios at level 3 an option? No. Unfortunately. Yeah, Ice Beam isn't stab, of course. We'll keep our trusty pal Zigzagoon for this fight. Sorry, buddy. Boom. We'll talk about Latios later. I realized you can skip those two people as well. Cool. Yeah, I, you gotta do every gen with all the fire types. I can't wait. Even just that is like quite the undertaking. It's okay. 
I don't know if anyone else has experienced this. I'm just curious. Uh, some people have said like, hey, can't wait for your produced videos to come back or something along those lines. I was a little bit confused because my produced stuff has been back for a while. So like, I don't know if people aren't getting informed or something. There's no updates going out. It's a little bit, a little bit annoying. I hope everyone is getting accurately updated. Every week there is one produced video, and generally I'm going to aim for one stream, but I'm going to take some time off over the next couple weeks, as I mentioned before. Okay, we could teach Rust for this fight. I don't know if we need it. We're going to try it without it, and then we'll, we'll see what happens. But I think that Surf should be enough with Giga Drain for healing. Oh, that did less than I was expecting, but we take like no damage from the Claydol, all right. The sunny day is really annoying. We're just going to Giga Drain this thing. Ooh, it survived. Oh. Okay. Oh, what? Everything is going wrong. Got to wait for the light screen to pass, but it's going to deal a lot before that. I can still heal, though. Crit. Cool. Cool. We're still gonna do it. Ridiculous. <laughs> Crit! Alright, it wasn't that hard. It was more annoying than anything else. The Zatu definitely gets scary as it sets up with Calm Mind. It's really nice whenever you have a rock move and you can just one-shot it at the beginning of the battle. Everything gets so much easier after that. I do think the Zatu is their best Pokemon. The Zatu and then the Lunatone and the, the Soul Rock are like annoying support Pokemon. The 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 Soul Rock loves to set up Sunny Day, and the Lunatone loves to use Hypnosis. Yeah, I I did Natu in in Crystal, and it was really bad. It's like the the move set that they gave it is just like so subpar. Oh, our little Pokemon didn't fade out on the right-hand side of the screen. There they go. A little delayed there. That Natu vid is one of my favorites. Oh, good. I'm glad you like it. It's also painful. Natu has to... It's a special attacker. has to go through the game with physical moves until, like, the post-game, basically. I <laughs> can't confirm Steel Bad there. Yeah. Here. Uh... Yeah. He like steps away from them, then you can stop and save. There's less dialogue to repeat every time then. If you want to save. You don't have to save for this fight. Usually person berries better here. They like to use swagger, but I have um, surf, so I figure surf is going to just be enough. Like we're going to one hit the camera ups. Mighty Anna will probably take two hits, but that's fine. If I get hit by swagger, it's fine. Just like eventually not hit myself and win. Easy. Okay. Also, the Metang does serious work when they swagger it. It starts like, like the metal claws that it hits with do so much damage. There we go. I don't play requiring myself to first knock out Steven's Pokemon and then knock out, um the enemy Pokemon, you could play that way if you wanted the most challenge and to really feel like you were doing a solo run. Huh. <laughs> Natalie, yeah. The, this is a good comment. Everyone read that, please. Um, let it sink in what that comment means. I'm not going to read it out. But uh, I think it's very important that we uh, we do consider that that is coming at some point in the future. Didn't use it. Okay, here we go. I do think that, yeah, Steven fighting alongside me is legit. But I think that, like, there could be an argument made for the fact that it's like, 
well, like, if his Pokemon are dealing damage, then, like, the enemy is being defeated by a Pokemon that is not the solo Pokemon. Um, but again, I don't play that way, so. And I, I encourage everyone to play in the way in which it makes the game fun for you. Don't think that rules are absolute. We're just playing games that we love in a way that brings us joy. Okay. Sometimes joy, sometimes pain when you're using a Ludicolo. But in the end, it's all it's all it's all joy. We're gonna get a beautiful tier list out of this one day. Also, I have 13 rare candies. Everyone just take note of that. That's how many you have at this point. There's two more that I'll pick up, so it'll be a total of 15 by the end of the run. We're getting to that point where it's like maybe if I came back and did this again and op and like really optimized, I probably should have person buried here just for uh that thing, but um, if I came back and did this again, maybe it would be the case that I don't actually need to save the rare candies any later because I'm going to be a high enough level for Steven anyways. Last time I was 74, which is quite high, so I'm trying to save the rare candies as long as I can in this run. But you could use them before, let's say, Tate and Liza just to make that battle a little bit more simple. Potentially even you could spread them out and send, do a, like one or two before, or how many do you have? You only have like two before uh, Norman. I don't think that would help that much though. I think we, the hidden power water strategy was like so much more reliable than my former strategy. Nope, stop pressing B. Once you complete, hey Scott, once you complete Pokemon Yellow, have you thought about doing a series that will include items in battle to see the difference it makes? I've thought about a whole bunch of different series. I have like, after Pokemon Yellow ends, I have off the top of my head, four different complete series that would be the same length as Pokemon Yellow in Generation 1 that I'm interested in doing. Maybe not the same, like, runtime length, because some of the videos will be short because we have a lot of the context already, but... Uh, yeah. There's a lot. Uh, yeah. There's a lot to explore. I'm focusing on what I'm doing right now, and then I will expand as I conclude things. I don't want to add too many things. This year was the first year adding Platinum that I was like... Like, as soon as I started producing the videos, I was like, wait, like... What if I do this again next year? Like, we add another game, and then another game, and then it's just like, the number of games just gets like... Soon I'll be playing more than... Like, I could play literally a different game every day of the week. And that would only get us four or five yellow videos a month. That's what it used to be. <laughs> like right now I'm playing six different games. Red, Yellow, Crystal, Emerald, a Fire Red and Platinum. And then if next year I add another game, that's seven games. So we go to Pokemon Daily. Every day there's a solo challenge video. And then every week <laughs> there's you get to see your favorite game. I don't want to spoil the ideas right now, James. Sorry. I I also want to, like... The reason I don't want to say is mostly that I don't want to get people's hopes up for something that they really do want to see, and then I decide last minute to change my mind and pivot to do something else for the next series. So I want to, like, maintain the fact that I have, like, the creative freedom. And the best way to do that is just not talking about it. Because I'll also feel guilty if I tell everyone and then I do something different. Uh oh. I'm going to focus. I occasionally mess this one up. Only in recent days, too. It wasn't a problem ever at the beginning of this series, but then it started becoming problematic more recently. Uh, this might be a place where Lepa Berry is a good idea. I have one less PP, so I want I want all that PP. I think I teach rest now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Will Kingdra put up a fight? It's probably gonna, um... It's probably gonna go for the annoying move. Double team. But I don't think it's gonna put up much of a fight, honestly. Giga Drain is pretty good for the majority of this fight. Oh. 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 It's got a Chesto Berry. Rest of Chesto Kingdra. Kingdra went to sleep. Oh, this is the annoying thing about rest. It's like sets up double team, then it's like, ha ha ha, I can rest if you miss once. Like, oh. And you can't freeze it when it's resting. Like, look at this. Look at how annoying this is. It's going to get me. Is it, see, this is why I wanted to rest. Because I knew that, like, okay, crit on the Kingdra. But I knew that if, like, it gets really bad, you can at least heal. Uh, and then you can stall it out using Surf and, like, just try and slowly knock it out. But we, we did it. Not bad. So far, a much better time. Um, 125 to here. I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good about this. Okay, we have Waterfall. So check this out. This is a new rare candy I'm picking up now. Uh, Austin helped me time it out. And it, it doesn't take that long to get. I thought it took a lot longer. And I, I constantly forgot where it was when I first started doing this series. So then I was just like, I'm not going to go get it. Like, it, it'll waste more time being bad and like not being able to jump over ledges and stuff effectively with the bike. But now that it, now I've had more time, it's not that bad. This, that is a little bit challenging, but just to time the inputs because it's four times speed. But and then here you got to be really careful not to jump over the ledge. Okay, that's that for candy. I'll get the 15th one, which you can get just before Steven. It's a little bit more efficient, but if I can have all 15 at once, then I can use them whenever I want. Up here, rare candy. And that is 15 in total. Now let's go to the league. I think I think as soon as I get through Victory Road, I can just spam all the rare candies. I gotta get better at not opening my inventory and like trying to use a repel and then it, you can't repel. It's a really bad habit from generation one. Oh, I'm glad that the other person did not catch me and get me into a double battle. Oh, <laughs> I only have surf. It's okay. This tentacruel is at a decently low level, so try and get it out of the way. Oh, we couldn't move. Whenever I play Emerald, I use Wingle as my fly user and Zigzagoon for other things. Yeah. You need a waterfall user then, though. That's like the big the downside. And like Wingle can't learn Surf, which is annoying. Zigzagoon can, but. Yeah, Meryl. Yeah, that's what I do. I, I do. Um, I do Talo. Because it's a little bit easier to find in the early game, but... Still only two resets, yeah, and no blackouts. Like, the the run is going pretty well. Okay, I have 112 speed. Look at the speed of his Pokemon. The fastest one is Gardevoir with 99. Also the Magneton, 69 speed. Just gonna say that. Nice. So, yeah. All right, James, have a good one. Enjoy the walk. I don't need a uh, flash here. In general, I think it's just faster to go without it. There's a few more like input mistakes that you'll make when you don't have flash, but I don't think that those make up for the fact that you have to pick it up and then you have to teach it. Come on. Okay. Whew. So we're going to get to like 56 here. And then with rare candies, that will be 71. And then with training in the league, we'll probably be 73 for Steven and totally fine. Which is about perfect, honestly. I can probably rare candy right after this fight. Or do I do a couple more and then get 57 and then be slightly higher? Probably the safe play. Eh. Let's not be safe. 
15 rare candies. We're going to make the league so easy. Are you ready to crush all of these trainers? You better be. 69, nice. Okay. Protect. I hate this thing. Please. Yes. Didn't want to use another repel. Okay. Are you all ready for this? I'm so ready for this. Also, look at my speed. I'm faster than every Pokemon in the game now, I think. I don't think there's a single Pokemon that can outspeed me. Because the Claydol on Steven's team, I think, is the fastest. Shift Tree is his fastest with 105 speed. Obviously, that's not fast enough. Nowhere near fast enough. Um, <laughs> when you have a Pokemon that has base 50 speed, you are just a little bit slower than that Shift Tree. Uh, base 50 speed, sorry, and a uh, slow growth rate. You're just usually just a little bit slower than that Shift Tree. But we don't have base 50 speed. We had base 70 speed. As you can see here with Ludicolo's base stats. Bottom left, if you're curious. I am going to Giga Drain first turn while it protects so that I don't get pressured on Surf. And then after that... Also, her fastest Pokemon is... Uh, the Bayonets, the second one, which has 91 speed. So again, slow, very slow. I don't have to worry about moving second against all these Pokemon. Okay. Glacia. Kind of annoying with uh, no decent grass move. This is one place where uh, Hidden Power Grass would definitely be better. That said, I can use... Surf and stuff like that for chip damage if I really need to. Plus, Surf does neutral damage to the Glalie. But I'm so over leveled that I think Giga Drain is still going to be enough. Maybe the Wall Rain will survive a hit and I'll have to two shot. Ah! Wow. Okay. Never mind. Um. We're not going to save for or heal for for Drake. The Shell Gun might protect. It doesn't matter. Look at all those Pokemon. He is the fastest member of the league in terms of speed stats. Altaria, 107. Kingdra, 111. Salam uh, Flygon, 126. Oh, well, I got paralyzed. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, the Salamence does have Flamethrower and stuff like that, but, like, my water typing is, is good. So, yeah, we're, we're fine, even with the Paralysis. Flygon is 126, and Salamence is 136. So I'm faster than all of them. Again, speed-lowering nature, just better. And now we have kind of an awkward fight against Wallace, but... Should be okay. This one. Yeah, we might need Levaberry. We might need Levaberry for this. We'll see. Remember that I'm ridiculously overleveled. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. It's okay, I went for toxic. Got a rest. I don't want to mess with it. I hate this thing. This thing is the worst. I thought I was not going to two hit that. Wow. Okay. 
I should obviously just have Giga drained that. It would have one hit. We're going to be fine. Look at that. Don't eat a Lapa Berry. No. Don't do that. That's bad. Don't do that. Very bad. Very bad. I'm getting very scared. Okay. Never mind. It doesn't have Aerial Ace. Yeah. Hyper Beam. No Aerial Ace. Okay. We beat Wallace. That, that was that. Not. Not. Only one more to go. Sub 40. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Ludicolo. Prove us that a grass type can do decently well in this game, even when it starts with a terrible set at the beginning. Like, whoa. I guess we got to do shift tree at some point, too. That one's also bad. I don't like... As a kid, I really did not like either of their designs. And over time, I've warmed up to Ludicolo, the design. But shift tree, unfortunately, I have still not warmed up to. Okay, we have to do a few things first. So there is going to be some time bleed here, which might push us over the 140 mark. I am hoping that it won't. But the current plan... No. No, 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 no. We gotta get Rain Dance. I'm terrified of this guy. Probably go from the other angle. The other angle is actually easier to dodge trainers. You need Dive to get Rain Dance. So I couldn't have picked it up earlier when I was here. That's the annoying thing about it. I did not need to go over there though. You can just go in here and then pick up dive. Or pick up a uh, rain dance. It's like all the way around here. That's it. Uh. Okay, got it. And then leftovers. Leftovers are so good against Steven. We just kind of like really, I gotta really focus on dodging these two trainers. They really like to catch you. They're really actually, they're quite challenging to completely dodge because of how they're timed. Leftovers. probably gonna do it yes all right my heart is my heart is going right now let's get out of here i could have gone a little bit more all out and just tried to rush straight to him but i think i only need I, what i was gonna go for it's like rain dance substitute but i think i'm gonna just keep giga drain right now hmm Mm. Substitute was really helpful last time. I'm going, I'm going to get Substitute. A little bit of indecision. This is where you get it. This person. Goodbye, Ice Beam. You you don't need Ice Beam or Giga Drain to beat Steven. Surf can Surf is great against all of his Pokemon. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm not looking at chat at all. That's why I can perform better now. Oh, don't need that. Go, let's go, let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Yeah, Rain Dance boosts water type moves by 50%. Correct. Okay. Let's 
See, I am faster than all of his Pokemon, even the Clay Doll. Now here is where I was setting up Substitute last time, because it's not very good and it likes to set up screens. And it gives me time to do a bunch of things like heal, uh, as well as reestablish Rain Dance when I wake up. It's probably going to break my Substitute, so I'm going to reestablish Substitute. I'll rain Dance. Surf. Oh my gosh, we're not going to make it under an hour and 40. That's okay. That's okay. Don't think we can do it. Cradley is going to take too long. And this is probably going to take too long as well. Yeah. Oh, Confuse Ray is frustrating, but... Still a good time. Still a good time. There we go. Steven. Done. Emerald is beaten with Ludicolo in 1 hour, 40 minutes, and 23 seconds with 2 resets at level 75. I'm going to check the game time. Give me one second. This is a game time of 6 hours and 27 minutes. And now I will also add Ludicolo to the tier list. So this is the current tier list. So, we were not able to get to the C tier, but we did do D tier performance, uh, which is pretty good. If you're going to watch this video um, in the next little while, uh, just know that Ludicolo's results will not yet show up in videos because we are already we've already made all the graphics for those videos at this point uh, we're not going to go back and remake like five graphics um tonight that sort of thing uh, there's there's other things that we have to do so ludicolo will show up uh in a future video in its proper tier list i need to grab the time 140 140 23 140 23. There we go. Under that. Oh, I changed the Claydol line of the, the document. Sorry. There we go. <laughs> now it's correct. Ta-da! Uh, we have made an automated piece of software that's going to be able to generate these graphics more, more simply now, so... Maybe we can go back and actually put Ludicolo in those videos now that this is automated. Huh. I'll probably go back and do that. Anyways, I hope this has been fun. Uh, it was a little bit painful at the beginning. Had some tech problems, then came back. I'm actually quite happy with these end results. D tier is fine. The former tier that this thing was in, it was like really bad when I did it last time. The first playthrough result that it had is currently ranked 31st overall in my rankings. There are some unreleased uh, rankings included in that. But Ludicolo is just just ahead of Shift Tree, Tropius, Sableye, and Agron. And it's behind uh, Sceptile, Mawile, Torkoal, and Slacking. So not, not great. Um, not great company. And yes, my former result was 2 hours, 55 minutes, and 30 two seconds so over an hour of improvement yeah i still think we can fix a bunch of stuff like little things in this run but this feels much more the, the this playthrough with hidden power water felt much smoother it's probably the case like steven wasn't that difficult at this level i could probably rare candy earlier and finish the game like five levels lower i would have to test damage ranges but Overall, I think that. I, yeah, not pick up Brick Break. Like, just don't do that. Um, there's probably other little things like that where I can optimize, just save a tiny bit of time. We could definitely get this under an hour and 40 minutes, but but for now, I am happy with this re-ranking. Again, like I said, uh, next week there will be no stream, and there will be no stream the following week. I'm going to take some time off, just rest, catch up with produced videos. This weekend, there is going to be a produced video every day, 
tomorrow there will be Waylord in Pokemon Emerald, then the following day Relicanth, and of course on Sunday a special video for all of you. I'm really excited for what is to come. And yeah, if you made it this far, you're incredible. I will see you next time.